So, this will be our first session with FM24. And as stated in the last stream, we will do a new save. And we will start with absolutely no skills whatsoever. So, basically, what I do every year. Um, I did have a look into the game for like an hour or two um, prior to starting the stream. So, this is why there's a manager here. That's not the one we will play with, though. Not that, um, well, apart from the face, they will probably not uh, differentiate much. Yeah, and I also um, picked a club in, in that save, but, um, you know, um, it's kind of torture on me, this combination of green and yellow. So, um, if you're familiar with this club, sorry, but this color combination sucks. Anyway, um, we'll start a new game in career mode, and we will be unemployed. And this will also, this will take like forever um, on stream, in particular setting up the database. So um, feel free in, in case you watch this later on to skip forward. Uh, yeah, we will go with the original ex experience, because why not? And in the advanced setup. <laughs> this is basically what I want to do, yes. So I don't care about the speed of the game. I care about having the biggest world available to me that's possible. So that's what we're gonna do. I also, by the way, I also spent like an hour or two, um, including uh, kits and um, the logos and stuff of the clubs and uh, getting rid of the, all, all the fake uh, names due to licensing issues, um, if I found them. I might have deleted a little bit much due to translations and stuff, you know? This seems like there's actual foreign language in here. But makes sense. So, in case I cannot run the leaks, this is down to my own fault. I do not want to control teams uh, with managers in place, and I do not want to add key stuff. And, well, adding players to playable teams will not be necessary. We can just sign players. Uh, real fixtures, don't care. Um, first transfer window activity can be enabled, oh, that's fine with me. Attribute masking is alright as it is. Do we want to start in England? Uh, probably not. We'll start in Sweden. No, not in Sweden. Sweden will, is Sweden is probably really weirdly dated, isn't it? Well, that would be somewhere in the, in February of this year. I guess that's possible, but that would restrict Available clubs to whatever. Um, <laughs> those that are in the middle of the season and uh, those that are in Sweden. No, we'll start at uh, whatever. Um, in, in the middle of 23 somewhere. Maybe 1-1 one, one vote. We just need to find a... In Romania, why not? Who cares? We'll start in Romania. And uh, I think we do the manager later, right? Okay, we're on the original. Database large is fine. I don't want to go into the details. I think it's all right as it is. And in case you're wondering, this is all of the this is the regular database with all of the leaks loaded. And yes, I realize that there's other ways to do this, like with uh, view only and stuff. But I don't want to. I, I might manage it here, and I just don't know right now. And I don't care about performance. So let's go. And now this will take ten minutes to set up. So, off to a great start on the stream already. So, let me know what are your um, expectations for the save. Anything in particular that comes to mind. We determined the name of the manager, at least, um, in the last stream. He will be named Nils Ramang. Because we spend a lot of time in Sweden, so Nils is an appropriate name for that. And Ramang due to spending a lot of time in Indonesia. So I guess it works. Nationalities have been uh, more or less determined too. Seen from that perspective. Setting up this database though, this uh, takes a little bit. Yeah. So you might as well tell me about your save. Otherwise, I will just sit here and watch this.
So I did also spend an hour or two maybe with um, FM24 so far. So I'm vaguely aware of new features, N not in detail though. Um, I will need to figure those out live on stream. Um, I did uh, get picked up by a Welsh club again in that safe, like a really tiny one. Um, not promising that it will not happen on stream, but um, I'm trying not to go to Wales again, if that's uh, okay. Also, Indonesia and Sweden are probably out of the ne negotiation. Um, it's been a long time since I managed some of the major nations, though, so I um, don't know where we will end up. I also don't know what jobs are available. And, um, well, in the uh, sample uh, save that I honestly just used to find out what needs to be done for, a, for the game to be tolerable again. Basically, kits, logos, get rid of the fake names, that stuff. Um, you know, the stuff you do with every installment of Football Manager, basically. And you just can't s seem to remember how to do it. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, where was I? I'm not sure um, which, which clubs uh, will be available and um, well there were a lot of um, managers that got fired like two days into the save um, in that one. So if that happens in this save too, um, it might take a long time until we have a job. That said, um, at least we can uh, think, like negotiate um, what kind of club is the worst one for us from the start. And um, given the skill set, it will probably be a semi-professional club at best. If not an amateur club. Who knows? Hopefully not an amateur club, though. I'm also somewhat in a mood to try new formations, but on the other hand, uh, what we did um, last time out worked just fine. So we'll just have to see. Um, as horrible as it sounds, we might need to play a 4 4 2 at some point. I never did that, I think, in my entire um, career of uh, like 10 football manager installments. Um, it just seemed so boring. But on the other hand, uh, who knows? Given that I uh, learned to enjoy the presence of a regular winger um, back in Indonesia. Well, there's also the possibility that I import um, my old save of FM23 um, into FM24 and continue this one at some point. I'm not sure if I want to do that. On one hand, I'm uh, pretty interested in it. Um, like, simply in the continuation of the story in Indonesia. At least until I get fired, which might happen at some point. But on the other hand, I feel like uh, some of the features um, that I use there will be broken, like uh, the AI generated faces I would need to import somehow, and I don't know how to do that, to be honest. Um, I would need to figure that out. And then, um, well, I would be torn in between this save and uh, the other one, so um, most likely one of the two will end up on YouTube only. So I'm not sure if I want to go there. Like. To YouTube anyway, due to the ad policy recently, but um, also um, specifically having two football manager saves at the same time is probably not a good idea. Yeah. So basically, the entire world world is available. Oh. Cool. Yeah, so uh, that's all the information I can think of right now. So feel free to ask questions as always. Um, if not, well, we'll wait a bit.
This also seems to be the perfect evening to do this, by the way. There is no important football this evening. It's just Union Berlin that will lose to SSC Neapel anyway. Um, I don't care much about Real Sociedad and Benfica. Bayern Munich is a rubbish club to begin with. Nobody would want to watch that. So, um, yeah. I, I guess one of the regular followers um, <laughs> manages Manchester United. Or he did, at least, probably. So uh, that might be a thing. It's just Champions League. Who cares? I didn't want to wait, though. I definitely didn't want to wait for um, Friday just to start this. We're already finding manager targets. Great. Well, I did this to myself by including all of the leagues. I, I don't think I did it in um, FN23. I think I excluded some of the leagues in FN23. Most likely South America or something. Well, what would you think is going on here, Mies? Also, welcome back to the stream. How have you been? And, um... Given that it's you, I watched the Dortmund game recently. In fact, both of them. One, one of the two is not worth remembering, though. The one against Bayern Munich. But the one against Newcastle was fun. So, I very much enjoyed that. The one against Bayern, not so much. Uh, yeah, well, um, what's going on here? Um, what do you mean? This, this is FM24. Sorry. I moved on. The Indonesian players will forever be in my heart. To be fair, I'm not sure if I remember all of the players from a club prior to that, so... Whatever. Nah, but um, I, I might still uh, use the old safe at some point, who knows. It was pretty interesting in the end. Didn't imagine that. Ah, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. So, um, yeah, sure. Um, if, if that's the case, don't do that anymore, right? Um, I mean, it's for you to enjoy. Yeah, and um, to be fair, um, the one and a half hours I spent with FM24 so far, um, I did by myself, and it was kind of weird, because um, I'm not used to playing FM anymore without the pacing of a stream, that makes sense. It felt awfully quiet, because I was not talking all the time. So this is an absurd experience, uh, as a... I, Guess I can call myself a regular streamer at this point, given that I do this for. Oh my god, I've been doing this for three quarters of a year, I guess, since since March, of like this. What oh, time flies? Anyway, um, so one thing that's really nice with Football Manager though is you can play it and watch something alongside it, like preferably a really minuscule unknown streamer. Or, I don't know. But <laughs> to be a bit more serious, um, you can watch a TV series or something alongside it. Um, in my case, more often than not, it was Critical Role prior to doing the streaming, um, which has excessive sessions anyway. And um, some of the Critical Role stuff is not that... How do I put this? In a four hours episode, there's some downtime at some point. That's not that interesting to you. Same as in Football Manager, with processing tanks take up uh, space like this. So, um... Yeah, they, I, I think they um, complement each other just nicely, stuff like that. That's not possible on stream, though. Well, you don't, that's the thing. But Football Manager doesn't care if you put it aside for five minutes. It doesn't matter. So, um, more often than not, um, in, with the old Football Manager installments, I had them open. Um, and i skip forward a day or two from time to time whilst watching some stuff. Or the other way around. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. Um, 
I do that too in podcasts. Shout out to the Rational Reminder community, I guess. Um, no, seriously. Um, I I rarely listen to podcasts, but if I do, it's usually I I like to listen to borderline scientific stuff if that, if that makes sense. And that's not the stuff you listen alongside something else. Yeah. Yeah, true. But that's different for everybody. All right, so we need to set up a new manager. We need a new profile. So we determined this guy will be called Niels, and his last name will be Ramang. Niels Ramang. And he will not be American, that's for sure. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I did listen to a to a um, Stuttgart specific podcast at some point actually. Um, they had Sven Mislintat uh, on, and he talked to them for like five or six hours. That so was a really great talk. Um, can definitely recommend that one episode. Um, in case you didn't hear it, and in case you are interested in the guy, as as a former Dortmund staff, I guess you you might be interested in him. Anyway, um. So we're looking for Sweden. This has full text, doesn't it? Yeah. Swedish as well as we need another nationality. And the other nationality will be Indonesian. However, these two parents met. Who knows? And obviously we were born in Sweden. And the other Hogdal, as it should be. So we're a rare breed anyway. Um, why would I do Gibraltar specifically? Why Gibraltar, of all places? I'm born in 1990. Do I have a favorite team? I don't think so. They have one stadium for, for the entirety of the league, or, or what? So, <laughs> it's like... In the most horrible condition that you you can imagine, always. I do not need to be taught, and I handle my tasks all myself. That's... That's bad. But I guess the stadium is better than what we have with Jeder Hockdals, IK. So, I guess... Uh, <laughs> AstroTurf, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, um... We'll need the skin color. A, a mix between something like this and something like this. So I guess we will stick with this. I also want... Like... I don't really care about the body type, to be honest. I, I just don't want to be small. Like, sorry to all the men that are 1 meter 70 and below, but... um. As somebody with um, approximately 1 meter 85, I think I'll pick something like this, just so I can imagine that this is me. What's this, by the way? This is probably not how we're looking. We'll, we'll pick something like this, whatever. Add. Alright. So, first of all, this hairstyle has to go. We need something that is uh, acceptable for... A hobo. Or unemployed after all. Something like this? No. This is this is way too way too pretty. Can't do this. This would be possible, but don't we have long hair here? Like the kind that doesn't look like it got it visited a barber shop at some point, that's better. That's horrible. I love it. That or we, we just go with something that looks like it had a shaving recently. Something like this. But that's just what I did with the other manager. There's something better. Sure. Why not? Why not? Also, apparently, the color is pink or violet or however it's called, so that will not stand. I think we'll go with box standard brown. Because, well, um, being a Swedish guy, we would probably go with blonde. 
but being also sun to somebody from Indonesia, I guess we would go with darker colors, so that makes sense. Alright, let's go with this. Facial structure. I really don't care much. I guess the nose is a li little bit broad. This, this looks like an Irish nose to me. Luckily, I have no idea about the <laughs> specific phenotypes you know, or something and uh, the way they are expressed. Facial hair. So, okay. This is a no debate, basically. These are ridiculous, so obviously I could take them, but I don't want to. No. Well, this guy lived on the street, so we will use this one. Perfect. So, uh, basically the same face as with the other manager that I showed at the start, more or less, isn't it? Uh, eyebrows. Sure. Let's go with this. Eye color. We'll take the psychopath, psychopath combination, won't we? Or that one. That's even worse. Blue eyes on him. All right. We'll take this. Skin details, uh, preferably none, really. On the other hand, given that he's a whoa. Yeah. Nah. Just feels weird. This is dirt. No. We'll go with this. We'll say, we'll say we had a reason. Uh, he had a reasonable washing at some point. All right. Did I forget something? Attire. Uh, definitely not. Like this cannot stand. So, what's the trashiest outfit available to us? And I gotta bring up one thing. Why do all of these look like they have really broad hips? Like, is, is this just the way regular pants are structured? <laughs> it's even worse here. Maybe this is the way official address code. A long jacket. This one. This. Well, to be fair, I, I guess someone living on the street would find that useful. But um, I think I think we'll go with something that's enjoyable. And I do not want to see my knees. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be fair, it got better and better. Like um, the the worst thing about this is I I guess this is um. They they all have their pants pulled up until um, what's it called? Well, until the mid the middle of the apps basically. And I'm from a generation where this is, looks stupid. Like, I cannot abide that. I'm, I'm from that generation, you know, 90s basically. Um, so, that's not, that's not true. Anyway, um, I'm from a generation where you wear your pants somewhere around here. That makes sense. So... To look at all of these is horrible to me, with the exception of that one, because then I can imagine that his pants are way down. So this is fine. <laughs> now we just need to give him reasonable colors, which will be none, and uh, get rid of that thing, because um, I think he can hear just fine. Uh, Alright. Reasonable colors. Black shirt. There's a stripe. Oh, that's on the pants. So we'll go with a white stripe. Bad reference. Don't like it. Mm, nah. Will be really, really not interesting, I guess. Please, no accent on the socks either. I, I think I like that. So that's basically the face of the other one with another. I should have done. Uh, should have picked the other manager. Uh, how do I get rid of this? I think it's here. Okay. Or not. Cool, now he's got hearing aid on both sides. This menu is really weird, by the way. Here we go. Accessories. Do we need anything? Glasses. 
It's sad that there's no broken set of glasses. I would take that in a heartbeat. I guess we go without glasses, even though I carry some myself, you know. No badge available. Face paint. No. No. And the ring? There's a ring applied here. Can we get rid of this? Okay, cool. This is how it works, apparently. Earrings. Does he have an earring? Comes with an earring as a default. Cool. I will mutilate my body at some other point in my life. Thank you very much. Choose team. We will start unemployed, as it should be. Now we'll go for managerial style, and this is where the beauty lies. We have no experience whatsoever, and, uh, well, the worst we can pick here is Sunday League Footballer. So, also, let's have a look at the style here. So, I, I don't think... I think we can do this by hand, right? Given that we will be faced with a club with no reasonable, uh, reasonable stuff whatsoever, I think I'll go with set pieces actually here. This is a new feature. Might as well take it. Let's go with set piece training altogether. And on this side, well, uh, we're shit in all of this. I don't think we need player knowledge or <laughs> youngster knowledge or what whatsoever. Um, that won't work. I think we'll go with a mix of determination. Let, let's maybe make it determination level of discipline and motivating or something. That might help with the training category. Maybe we are one star in set pieces after this. Who knows? And now we'll start playing. With Nils Ramang. In case it ever skips forward. Did I press confirm? Yeah, I did. Just doesn't react. Might take a while. I'm also trying to figure out if I really want to do new gen AI generated faces again. There we go. Come on, give me the menu. Thanks. Fantastic. So, um,. Given that the uh, the faces generated by Football Manager get better and better, whilst still be intolerable to a degree, um, you know, the ones that are usually called eggheads, I still think uh, they are somewhat fine at some point. So maybe um, I I realize, but um, I load two hundred k players, and I will probably need faces for at least the majority of them at some point. So a face pack with a thousand AI generated faces will not do. Um, we had a discussion about that on some of the streams, I think. So in in case there is a face pack that's bigger than the new gen pack, I would be interested. If it's smaller, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't work. 30k is something, yeah. That's not bad. That's that's not bad. Somebody recommended another one for me. Um, it's on the Discord. Um, I would need to look it up. Um, I think it's somewhere on the general channel. Not sure. Well, I think it was Hayden. Not sure. Discord is uh, ob obfuscating names right now. So, don't know who it, uh, who it was. Um, to be fair, the faces look really nice. But, um, it's not that many. No, it's not Hayden, it's, somewhere, it's somebody else. Well, I'm very sorry. Um, yeah. Um, that said, I don't need that right now, right? Um, so, if, if you find anything and um, want me to use it or at least try it uh, on stream, I might as well do it. We have a personal assistant. Cool. And apparently the personal assistant seems to be female this time. I actually like that. 
Could have used a female manager too, by the way. Oh no, we should we should probably apply for jobs instead of skipping forward. This is um, this is how it goes if you played football manager for a while. You're just okay. I started to save. Let's skip forward. Why is there no club? Ah, oh, cool. We need a job. This will also take forever. Fair point, though. We can probably make it pretty fast. So, we'll deselect all of the jobs. And then we'll also deselect all of the scopes. Because I do not want in to do international management anyway. I don't care about international management. So, we'll not do that. And well, at, at some point it will refresh. There we go. Thank you. I will um, have a look later. Because um, obviously I do not want to do this right on stream. Thanks for that, man. I'll have a look at it. Um, so, it, it's also, obviously it's also a question of aesthetic or something. But uh, given, uh, given that you seem to have a reasonable taste, according to the kits you made for me, um, for um, PSIS, I Guess I should trust you with the aesthetics. Alright, this is what's available. Well, fucking hell. Alright. Um, 36k is pretty damn decent. That's good. So, um, maybe I'll do that. Okay. What would be interesting to us? So we have no skills whatsoever. Um... With no skills whatsoever, even the Vanarama leaks are probably a bit much. Just to put this out there. Um, Vanarama north-south, I would probably be able to try. Rest, mm, nah. Um, this is the club that I did in the one and a half hour save um, in FM24 here, um, that I did in private. And really, my eyes are bleeding looking at these kits. So I will definitely not go there this time. Um, to be fair, this is a little bit better. Well, usually I want to stay forever at a club, they just fire me from time to time. Yeah, but thank you very much for offering. Um, that said, don't start the work just yet, I don't know where we'll go. So... I also, um... I'm, I might link it later. Um, there's... Specific kit, uh, collect, uh, specific kit collection that is not available as a collection. So, um... You know, you, you can... Download one leak by one leak. For some reason, there's no no um, package available for this, so I downloaded all of them, like 180 different leaks. You know, copy pasta and uh, into J downloader it goes, and afterwards we will put this all into the football manager directory, and there we are. So uh, most of my leaks have uh, kits loaded now, as long as there's uh, kit packs available for the leak. They might not include 3D kits though, so I don't know. Um, but um, I'm certainly thankful for the offer. Okay, we need a rubbish club. We need to find a job. And I don't care where it is. So, let's have a look. They have a budget of 36k. That's uh, way more than we earned in the last 10 years, so probably not. Um, it's not much better. We might do Brazil, though, on the other hand. Hmm. Racing club. Um, this, this is an ad for Kappa, or however it's called. I'm aware of a brand. I'm really proud of myself right now. For example, this club doesn't have kids. That's a good sign, I guess. Man Manao? This one? What is that? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> uh. Wow. <laughs> What 
ansonsten. Interesting. Close the rules here. They are within the season right now. No more than five foreign players, uh, blah, 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 blah. So I doubt they will hire us. Also, in this case, uh, we would we would be in a club with uh, no kids whatsoever uh, for the entire league, I think. Yeah, they have no kids here. Uh. Yeah, there's a lot of playoff spots here. I'm not aware of how it works. How, how does this go? So first of all, everybody goes through this, and then there's the second stage. Hmm, hmm, hmm. participation money, hundred fifty. Okay, it seems like there's some money. Yeah, it's an eight. So it's an eight-team playoff, and afterwards, um, basically a cup competition from from that point. Yeah. All right. Oh, two. Uh, so this is two group stages again. So it's really easy to get promoted from, like I guess, from the perspective of um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and as a champion, you probably get some some additional money, right? Yeah, you get additional money as a champion for winning the league. So there's some incentive there, at least monetarily speaking. Um, not bad. There's other clubs available here too. Just want to put that out there. And this club has the perfect color combination, with the exception of that red star, maybe. Uh, this, this this is a color combination that is um, kind of not the best being born and raised in Germany. We have our problems with that color combination. Even though it's damn pretty. But, like, aesthetically speaking, I'm okay with it. Politically speaking, not so much. Um, yeah, so, so I guess that would be an, uh, an option. On the other hand, Mies, do you really want me to go to Brazil? This, this seems... It seems like it, this is way too much for me. I would happily go to Wales for a second time, but it, it would be the second time, so definitely not. Ukraine? Well, I guess at this point it's not politically motivated anymore. Uh, sure, why not? I would not be able to pronounce any of the players, so this is fantastic. And these have fantastic kit colors. Hopefully the pants are not red and blue. Ugh. Ireland, Finn Harps. I guess they just want to be competitive. Wow. Yeah, there's... There's no threat of going down, though. So, it's not bad. Alright. You know, I'll, I'll apply for different jobs anyway. This is a professional club, though. I don't think they'll take me. And this one, to be fair, I like the colors. Like, um, get, do you have, um, in, in, at the top of your head, given that you managed in Brazil, do you know if the pants are black or green or something, and not bright red? They want, they want us to stay clear of relegation. You know what? I will apply. Why not? <laughs> True, you can. Um... But l let's look for other clubs too. So Indonesia we were. I never managed in South Africa. 
I guess that's a thing. How much money are we talking here? Nah. Okay, that's maybe a bit much for us. Yeah, this is fantastic. So, obviously I would do this just because you're around here. No. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is like... <laughs> Uh, I don't know what to say. It hurts my eyes. Yeah, it does. Move forward. Vendorf, see, that's that's not too horrible either. They want a top half finish though, and I'm not one for top half finishes just yet. They want to, but I stay clear of relegation. But I really cannot abide the red and blue coming. Nation. This, who, who would wear something like this? This screams Hamburg to me. I don't want that. This is how good their branding is. Color combinations tell me that I do not want to manage that club. This wouldn't be bad. So, Japan is new in the, in the game. Former Ajax Cape Town. Which one? Oh, Cape Town Spurs. Hmm. Well. But I guess the question is, why would it matter? Because most likely they have too much money. Hmm. But like Leopards uh, sounds nice. Also, like a bit excessive. And that kit is really horrible, but... Okay, yeah, that might be. I, I don't know, man. I'm... Totally unaware of any of this. I would also be completely incapable of pronouncing any of these. How does. When does the league start? And what are we expected to do? We are expected to. Stay away from relegation, so I guess we apply. There we go. We might be with Black Leopards in South Africa. This also, this is really great. <laughs> the kid is fantastic. Oh, hell. <laughs> this, this looks like a 10 year old's room. After the parents haven't been at home for two weeks or something. Yeah, something like this. <laughs> it's basically a Christmas sweater. <laughs> to, to be fair, this one is great. This one is fantastic. This one? Nah. But this one is fine. The golden hornbill, whatever a hornbill is. We cannot sign non-Malaysian players. That's... That's not worse. It's just red. I will apply for this team. We'll do the Christmas sweater club. Maybe. Korea? Yeah, no. They won't take me. What's National Division 1 in Belgium? That's uh, probably down the pyramid too, but I'm not good enough for Belgium. I guess we could go to Belarus. That would be politically controversial. The kit is nice. Nah, I'd rather not. Spartak Varna. They want to be guided to the playoffs. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. They were relegated. So, we might do that. 
any particular rules here? Blah blah. TV contract, yeah, I don't care. I want to know about foreign players. Maximum of five non EU players. Maximum squad size 40, minimum squad size 15, yeah, that, that should be fine. I think I'll just apply for this one and we'll see how it goes. How many did we apply for now? Five? Five. Croatia. Solin. This. This is a combination that that is just here to please me, I guess. You know, it's just a common theme now. From football manager installment to football manager installment. Uh they want to be guided to a top half finish. Cool. In I cannot pronounce this. Five subs can be used in free stoppages, nine named, not bad. They can work a lot with low knees, it seems. No foreign player rules, as far as I'm aware. We'll apply, won't we? I barely have an idea about the location of Croatia, so I guess... It's within Europe. <laughs> I would probably be able to to put a pin on a map somewhat. What's this? How about Greece? 58k. They won't take me. Israel? Probably a bad place to manage right now. Mm, we never managed in Norway. Also, what the hell? This seems to be way down the league though. Or the, the league pyramid, I guess. They are in the middle of a season. Quick Holden FK. I'd rather not manage a club that is in the middle of a season though. At least have a little bit more of a budget. Portugal? What do you think of Portugal? A bit, bit strong. All of that blue. That's not much better. Keeping the team away from the foot of the Liga Free North. Keeping them away from the foot of the league. They have interesting rules, it seems. There's a championship group on the relegation stage. Okay. I guess that makes sense. There's also Turkish clubs here. Okay, this is horrible. And, well, in the Super League, we probably shouldn't apply. There's also Serbia. Again, I really dislike this color combination. <laughs> Managers cannot work for three teams in the same division in the same season. Yeah, okay. I, I guess that's not a very hard rule to, up, uh, to apply, though. Preliminary phase. Hmm. There's a prelim preliminary phase and these go to group A, these go to group B. Oh, so these are determining um, the, the top four in the, in the final phase for group A determine who goes up and these determine who goes down, I guess. 
there's also some sort of playoff here. Not sure. I really don't want to face that kid color though. What's the club in Peru like? Hmm, expensive. You know what, we'll go with what we have. So, Finn Harps, Manau, Black Leopards. I cannot even pronounce this in Malaysia. Botak Varna or Zolin. Is it weird that I feel somewhat familiar with Malaysia now, given that we had a player from then? Insua was sacked by San Lorenzo. What the hell is San Lorenzo? Club Atletico de San Lorenzo de Almar grow cool in Argentina. Job Edwards says you do not need to apply. I have no idea where we where this will turn out to be in the end. Well, where we, we will be, I guess. Here's an interview. Are you open to working abroad? Yeah, definitely. Apparently I speak Swedish and Indonesian. Which means I don't speak English, whatever. Should have included that. Chocolate. Starting out a new stream, season, whatever. Just like the last one. I guess we could manage Turkey too. That said, I'm not sure if inflation is appropriately um, simulated in the game. I guess the players want to be paid in euros. Millwall is available. That won't be our first job. It would kind of make sense to go to Wales though. And our, I, I guess our last attempt there was pretty short cut. No, no, it was cut short. We also took the shortcut to Indonesia.
four messages. Yes, I am excited about a foreign job because I do not want to manage in Sweden or Indonesia, that's true. We could obviously manage New York City FC. Or not. This is a caretaker manager. I can't even apply here. What kind of club is this? In Iceland, sure. Uh, why not? They have excellent training facilities and a 40k wage bill. I don't think I want to go to Iceland though. Yeah, but as I said, not doing Sweden again. Otherwise, I would probably apply here. But I'd want to do. I don't want to do the same countries when within. Uh, well, with the the change of um, FN twenty three to twenty four. So um, maybe I'll go to Sweden next season, but not this one. Or I might end up in Sweden in in the safe after all, but uh, not from the start. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So one Samsung Blue Wings. I have a new manager, it seems. All right. Let's look at the shop center again. Did I forget something? I don't want to do Indonesia again. Japan wage bill seems a bit high for my taste. On the other hand, they're looking for somebody to keep uh, to keep the team clear of relegation in the whatever this league is. Yeah, they'll have a hard time here. But there's so many matches to be played and uh, we might as well experience that, so why not? Let's apply for this one too. Tanuki. Whatever that means. And wherever that is. Sign players from domestic rivals. Sure. Not allowed to sign non Belarusian players. Le Championnat de France Nationale. What league is this? Okay. So this is third league in France. I. Actually, never managed in France. Uh, surprising as this might be to you. I never did that. Where the hell is Volte? So apparently the football club is... Uh... Been found in 1913. Holte is. It's in Cholet. And Cholet is in Western France. Oh! This is, this is Southern Brittany, is it? Maine et Loire. So, nope. Population of 54k. Why not? 
I'll apply for this one too. Never been in France. At least not in Football Manager. They probably won't uh, take me here. Like, um, as, as far as I'm aware, um, with that kind of attribute sample, you will end up in Wales. Or something like this. Okay. Okayama. What's Okayama? Second Japanese league? Professional club? Slightly above our pay grade. Apparently, managers get fired an awful lot in Japan. At least right now. There's always this appeal to do something that's familiar to you um, once you start a new save and full plan manager, at least for me. At the same time, I want to do something new. But I, I guess there's always um, also this feeling that I might not adapt to the rule set uh, nicely or something, or that I do not understand what's going on there. Where is this? Major League Soccer Eastern Conference. Sure. I I guess they have too much money, but um not for a Swedish guy that's living on the street. I don't know. Have they do they have social housing stuff in Sweden? Probably they have. So, apparently, we will not go to France. Sorry, Mies. That said, we might end up in Brazil. In the middle of the season. And all they want us to do is get, get out of these relegation... of the relegation zone, I guess. Sure, let's go to the interview. At least I like the colors. Gotta give him that. I have my doubts about the stripes, but whatever. Um. Cool. Let's go down to business. Are you worried about not being able to speak the language? Um, given that I speak two languages, I will probably adapt to a third. The language is not quick. I can learn it quickly, it's not hard. This is FM24, man. So, no, I did not get sacked. I also, I included your... It, was it your name recommendation? New manager is called Nils Ramang. So... We're looking for a new club. Preferably not in Sweden or Indonesia. Ugh... So, obviously, given that I took your recommendation, you gotta stick to the safe now for the entirety of next year. Sorry, man. It's just the way it works. Am I worried about not, be not being able to speak... What is it they speak in Brazil? Portuguese? Not Spanish, right? <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Uh, sure, I will learn it at some point. This, this is always a weird question. I don't know what to say here. Can you explain why you appear to be in the running for a few jobs right now? Because I'm unemployed? You stupid fuckers. Why the hell would you ask something like this? Um, happily. I'm, I'm not sure how long I will do for, uh, do it today, but, um... I, I guess Friday latest I will have time for an extended session. That is, um... You know, until I'm tired and stuff. I did have food today, though. So, that certainly gives us options. I will not withdraw from others. 
I think I'm exploring my options. And with the last manager, we had to part company with uh, with earlier. Oh, earlier than expected. Yeah. Are you going to be around for a while? What's a while? A while is one and a half years or something. So um, not much of a problem. I will promise this. Will I be comfortable for to working with Fausto Momente? Yeah, well, actually, I really like that. He has scouting knowledge in Italy and Germany, so why not? All right. Um, apparently, you cannot increase the size of this menu. It's the same stuff as in FM23. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. So they want us to uh, avoid relegation, be competitive in the Copa do Brasil, and uh, become an established Serie C free team at some point. Cool. That's all fine. We're trying to avoid relegation, that's it. Wage budget? Sure. I, I think I'll agree with this. I have no idea how... Expensive footballers are in Brazil. Probably not that cheap. And I do not want any improvements. That's all good. Do I really want to manage in Brazil, though? I mean, I, I guess I could. Never did that. There's, um, reportedly, there's top talent in Brazil, for some reason. Was it a professional club? This might be really great from, for, for a start. Usually I start out in some sort of amateurish, uh, non-professional, whatever club. Didn't apply for the jobs in Wales this time, though, neither for the one in Sweden, so I guess uh, we might just end up with a full-time job. Who wants to work part-time anyway, right? No, it's all fine, man. But I'm, I'm just... Talking for, uh, to myself. Um, the, the thing is, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to start with a, with a professional club um, being fully uh, full-time employed with uh, this manager. Like, the manager has no skills whatsoever, right? That's the theme here. Also, I did come up with the really catchy title From Hobo to Hero for this stream, and then I googled it and I realized that like half a million people did a save on this or that that has this exact name. So, um, it's not exactly unique either. I'm open to suggestions for a better title for the stream. Nakamura got sacked by Yamaguchi. This is in League 2, though. I guess we could apply. Nah, man. They won't take us. So. Yeah, more or less. Um... There is also a weekly update here. So... This one is in Southern Africa. This one is in Turkey. I mean, I guess. 
I guess we, we would we could try Turkey. At least I, I stand half a chance to pronounce the names here. Oh! Going where the wind blows, that's, that's not bad actually, yeah. That's a nice suggestion. On the other hand... Well, what, what that, um... What does this imply? If you, if you are outside of the stream, you never saw it. Yeah, it's a nice suggestion, really. Um, the question is, does it fit what I do in the stream? I mean, for now, yes, but um, we're talking um, we're talking about the entirety of FM24. I don't want to change the title all the time. So, is this what we're doing here? I don't know why I'm looking at this. Okay. Well, in that case, going where the wind goes. A bit long. Also, maybe I can come up with um with some shorthand version. Yeah, it's a variation exactly. Um. Because this, like, as a phrase, it's fine, but it's not catchy enough, if that makes sense. As a title for for a stream that is, um, it does not convey the information fast enough if you scroll through something. So, maybe, um, it's like, I'm thankful for the suggestion, um, but I'm not sure if it's uh, that catchy. It is nice, though. So, um, I don't want to apply for other jobs in, in Southern Africa. I will apply for the one in Turkey, actually. Never managed in Turkey. Fuck that. Might as well do it this season. And I will ignore this. And apparently Solin wants us to come in too. Solin is in Croatia. This team has players. Players that I would not be able to pronounce, but who cares? And apparently also affiliated clubs. Sure, let's attend the interview. Hello, Niels. Thank you very much for rem remembering my name. All right, let's go. Uh, da, 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 da. I will learn language, no problem. Um, I'm considering my options. I will have a long and fruitful career at this club. Strive to make progress on and off the pitch. Sure. Wage budget, growing reputation, one-year contracts for, the, uh, for players over the age of 34. I do not intend to sign players at the age of 34 and above anyway. Dahi want to record a top half finish with us. Cool. Uh, yeah, sure. I will agree with this, and I will also agree with the wage budget. Usually I tend to reduce this a little bit, but, um, well. Let's just say going into the club and having the wage budget reduced immediately isn't not always a really good option. It really depends. But I like not to spend much of the money on players. I prefer to spend it on um, more fruitful stuff. Sounds a bit weird, but um, with, with the other club, um, with the Welsh one, that um, you saw right at the start of the stream, if you were in minute one, basically, um, I reduced the wage budget from the get-go and uh, renegotiated contracts with everyone and uh, I was able to uh, renegotiate the striker's contract that was 160 euros per week uh, down to, I think, 95 or 100. 
like immediately. So that freed up a lot of the wage budget. And obviously the club can use that money and keep it. Well, the other way around. Keep it and then use it at some point. Preferably for better players. Or, I don't know. New training center, youth network, whatever. Okay, Spartak Varna don't want us. So much for Bulgaria. Who the hell is Mr. Big? Let me guess, this is another streamer? No. There's a, there's a band. Yeah, alright, that's, 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 that's a song by the band. Alright, sorry. Um, I'm, in my defense, I'm too young. So, <laughs> hopefully that's an excuse. Um, the Malaysian club offered a job interview. <laughs> we might as well do that, won't we? Uh, first of all, though, let's go to Turkey. I'm still considering my options. Sure, I would want to stay for a long time. Um, I, I think I actually like to focus on money anyway, so that's true. Backroom stuff set up. I don't think I need to do vast changes. I really don't like to do that immediately. Yes, well, I do not have an own team right now. They want us to reach the top half finish and at some point the playoffs. Sure, ambitious and all, we will probably get kicked out of this cup pretty soon. Oh, okay, good to know. Sure, the transfer budget is fine and the wage budget is fine too. And I do not have any expectations other than being paid. So... In Indonesia though, this would be league free anyway. Like, what are the chances that we go up all the way? And we really just do this for the Christmas sweater and the fact that they have a reasonable taste in tables. I want to stay for a long time, as always. Um, I will be able to deal with the finances. Are you the right manager to lift us on our solid platform and take you to... No. My reputation speaks for itself. <laughs> that's, to be fair, that's true. We have no reputation whatsoever, so um, that speaks for itself. Um, you shouldn't hire me. From our solid platform. So they don't they think they have a solid platform. Alright. I will agree that they have a solid platform and it it's fine so far. And now we will move forward. Who's the director of football? Sure, he's absolutely rubbish, but his contract his contract ends in half a year. So, of course, I'm happy to work with him, and then we will not extend his contract, and he will go. Um, they want us to avoid relegation, this is fantastic, and uh, repair the club's financial damage. Can do.
And I think we can avoid relegation too. This is alright. No expectations otherwise. Fantastic. I, I, I think Malaysia is pretty interesting. Not true, sure, but I think we can not sign non-Malaysian players there. So there's that. Also, pre-rolls are on, so, you know, hopefully no screaming women or something. I don't know. I didn't look it up. Um, but I think in, in third division in Malaysia, there's Malaysian players only. But who cares? Um, I guess I'm up for the challenge. That makes sense. I do like to play the own youth players anyway. So maybe that's not a bad idea, or I don't know. We do transfer business within Malaysia all the time. Good to know, given that I applied for that. Alright. Miklic makes sensational return to op. Cool. Oh, this is in Ljubljana. Alright. Um, I actually, I was in Ljubljana at some point. It was quite nice. Quite a nice day. It's, uh, interesting. To say the least. At least uh, as a as a holiday uh, destination, it's kind of interesting. Um, Sanuki offered a job interview. We might as well do Japan, but on the other hand, like there's probably thirty five streamers on right now that are doing the Japan save. So, do I really want to do that? I'm exploring my options as always. We've been performing well below expectations and now on our worst run of the season. Cool. Could you get the team back on track? I don't think the club is unperforming and given a chance, I think I could take the team further. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll go with I'm a motivator. Would I be comfortable working with Rohei Kobayashi? Sure, he's shit. But his contract will run out at the end of the year, so I'm happy to work with him. Of course. Uh, none. They want us to sign player and players under the age of 23. That's not bad. And all of this is okay. Avoid relegation. Be competitive in the, the Emperor's Cup. Do they really call it that? Wow. And at some point they want the top half finish. Okay. Yeah, I agree with this. Um, blah blah. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Would a proposed transfer budget of three hundred forty-two k be? <laughs> yes, that is okay. And I'm also okay with the wage budget of twenty k. Thank you very much. This is probably a professional club. They will not hire me. Finn Harps offered a job interview. In Ireland. Never did Ireland. I went to Wales, not Ireland yet. Is it like... At least the, the players they are on reasonable contracts though, are they? Yeah. Well, not sure if that's reasonable. They picked the same last time. They are all on 180s. Let, let me guess, this is the minimum wage here for a full-time contract. Professional club. Hmm. Okay. Let's go there. Is it? Well, in, in that case, that, that to be fair, that wouldn't be so bad, would it? Well, on the other hand... No, but no, no, it's better. Ireland is not part of the United Kingdom. 
Ireland is part of Europe, isn't it? So hopefully they have better transfer rules and not the stuff with the work permits and so on and so forth. See? So it's better. There you go, British guys. <laughs> uh well, um Club has been underperforming far too long. Um so I'm about motivation again. Work with wage budget. Re they want us to reach the playoffs immediately. Sure. And but the actual expectation is just to be competitive. So given that we you cannot get relegated, this like if you do not. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Sure, that wage budget is fine, and there I have no requests to propose. And then there's also black leopards. Cool. Uh, I will learn the language. I'm still considering my options. I will stick with the club for a longer time. I will definitely be able to handle the money. Um, I I don't know. Um, it's been a while for me too. So I d I did my last save prior to Brexit too. Um, that also has to do with streaming, obviously, because well, everybody has been doing an English save on on stream at some point. I didn't, but whatever. Um, to everyone else, it's really boring apparently. So um, as a streamer, I don't think I will do that just uh, right now. On the other hand, I might. Also, by the way, um. I see that this is absurdly off track now, but I will do it anyway. Um, we do not have a goal. There, there's still a subscriber goal, but nobody subscribed to the stream anyway. So, um, but we need a new goal. I guess we make it 130. There we go. Including the weird Twitch sound. So, uh, okay. Um, I don't think I need a budget for this. Um, yeah, we work within the wage budget. We, we become established. Yeah, okay. Reached a net bunk cup proper. All right. I agree with all of this. And I... I think we can avoid a relegation battle, given that there's no relegation here. Sure. Also, okay. Yeah, but I do not have a team that I like, other than uh, picking the team that is the most trashy um, around all of the lower leagues. So, um, I probably would need to set up a specific database for this, um, as I did in previous installments. And um, pick pick a team that has no money whatsoever, in some sort of village somewhere. So um, on the other hand, I might as well play in Wales, right? It, it's basically the same, more or less. Just that they have some some weird, incomprehensible language too. On top of that, uh, do -do 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 -do. no expectations here. I'm I'm basically. Prone to insulting half of England alongside streaming. I'm really good at this. Sure, we can respond to this. Do you have anything to say in public about your recent interview opportunities? I am ambitious and looking for a new club. Not sure if I want to take the first one that comes around. I want to have options. And I'm not sure which one to take, to be honest. So, um, I, I, I guess, I guess the experience that I made on, uh, on stream is that on one hand, I want to um, use a poll for something like this. On the other hand, um, if you do polling for this kind of stuff, 
the people that um well so this is this is not intended as a as a personal attack like i'm really good at this you probably realize um but people change throughout the stream and sometimes you pick a save and the person that uh, nudged you into that direction it will not be um, around the stream two days later so um i try to come up with what i really want to do that makes sense torpedo moscow like <laughs> There's a war going on. Nice kit colors, though. So, yeah. That's for sure. Joaquin Gomez got sacked. Oh! Well, that's pretty. This is not. But it, it these are pretty kit colors. Like, I, I could deal without the golden, but whatever. Job says, I don't know, Finland anyone? I would be Scandinavia too, maybe next time. Yeah, you know what? This is so imp incomprehensible. I I will deal with this. What what did he want us to do? Stay clear of relegation. We will apply. For a Finnish football club. Why not? <laughs> the Swedish club offers a job interview. Uh well. Um I guess I will decline that uh, job interview in Sweden. I really don't want to go back to Sweden. Like this, I, I realized that um, it would be a reasonable idea given that the manager is Swedish after all. But I think it will decline this one. Sorry. And now this is uh, NK Solin. So I guess, do we want to go to Croatia? Do we want to go to Croatia? Uh, well wouldn't be the worst decision. That said, they want a top half finish with a squad that I don't know. I, I'm not sure. This sounds really ambitious to me. All the ladies in case they do. They agree to it. Apparently, um, are you sure they agreed to delay for two times? Oh, like, I have a family history of really hating PTO IF, so, um, Obviously, I'm very empath uh, empathetic towards this. <laughs> this is a nice answer. Uh, it's just a job. What can you do? I guess it's true. There's... Why did you decline the job? Um, work for them, come on, be serious. Um, not really interested, sorry. I, I could do another save in Sweden, to be honest. It's not like I hate managing in Sweden. It was pretty exciting. But, you know, I did that last installment, so let's not do the same thing twice. Also, I would need to come up with yet another picture of a snowy stadium. And, you know, we picked, like, in, in the last save in Sweden, we picked a picture of a Norwegian football club for that. Given that it was the only one available on Unsplash. Copyright issues and stuff. So, um... That's probably the biggest insult to Yiddahawkdals IK that we did. Uploading a YouTube save and putting an, a Norwegian stadium in the thumbnail. They didn't answer me. 
I, I wanted to use their picture of their stadium, but, you know. Don't want to get into the meat of things with copyright issues. Putting a sack their manager, that's cool. And Palmeiras did too in Brazil. This would be Turkey. So Turkey would be available too. With Fitia Spore. I really have a hard time accepting these kids though. Player best seems, I don't know. What's the goal again? Hello? Hello, game. Cool. There we go. That's better. Um, they want a top off finish. Uh, I think we'll delay this too. I'm not sure they agree to a delay. Fine. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to take actually. Do I have a preference? We should probably look this up. If the game is fine with me playing, that is. This is perfect. Okay. Uh, there's two additional. Oh, let's have a look. Um, we also applied in Finland, in Malaysia. So, so far, Croatia and Turkey. Um, Fethiye Spore and Solin came on and uh, said they would take us. I think Ireland would be interesting, Malaysia would be interesting, Brazil would be interesting to me, and Finland too. Not sure if I want to do South Africa, to be honest. On the other hand, the season in South, South Africa probably doesn't hurt. It, it's South Africa, is it? It's South Africa, alright. So, whatever. <laughs> Wouldn't be the worst idea. And building some sort of knowledge throughout the world, Brazil isn't bad either. Well, not, neither South, uh, South Africa nor Brazil are bad. Um, to have access to players that are talented. I think that makes some sense. If we want to build a foundation. So. Maybe we can build that foundation. Who was it that did a, did a save in Brazil? Was that you, Mies? In, in FM23? Did you spend half of your time in, uh, in, in FM23 in Brazil? Complaining about the financial circumstances of the club all the time? Do I recall that correctly? It sounds exactly like the challenge I'm looking for, I guess. On the other hand, it can be really annoying. Going through this stuff for like, I don't know, 10 years in game. 25 messages. Fucking hell. Okay, there's the odd job.
of Korea. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think we need to speak about all of these. Currently, Besiktas hired. Besiktas hired Hansi Flick. So this is how we know that. Um, well, the game is not very realistic. What the fuck? Probably this will happen in real life at some point, and then I will be highly confused. Finn Harps will not take me. Okay. Because some guy named Murphy takes this one. Darren Murphy, whoever that is. And Sarawak United FC, though, want to take us in, in Malaysia. This is a semi-professional club in Lake Free in Malaysia. All they want to do is not get relegated. It's in the middle of the season. <laughs> the fifth club is called Armed Forces. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so I guess the question is, do we want to do that? That's the first one that appeared at, well, like, really, it's, it's Christmas anyway. Shall we do that? Let's have a look at the players first. Like, I, I have no idea. And uh, also tactics. You think so? Uh, well, we could consider it to be realistic given that he's on the decline now as a manager. He, he probably would not want to hear that. Hmm. Basically, basically uh, copying the, the likes of Nuri Shahin or whatever. That's not fair. Nuri Shahin was Turkish from the start. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, Ruse? Max, like, like, Kruse went to Turkey too for a season, right? Um, but it seems to be a regular thing. Going from German football to Turkish football because, well, money's fine until you convert Lira to Euro and then um, it's not so good anymore. So, apparently they played a 4-4-2 until now. Nineteen-year-old striker, twenty-one-year-old striker. I I have no idea about the quality of these players. Um, weather in Turkey. Okay. Well, no, I cannot talk shit about Turkey other than um. Well, I'm not very fond of religious uh stuff in general. So, but on the other hand, I think um. I should probably visit at some point first before, um, like, coming up with opinions about it. Um, I think we will do a Christmas start into the safe, actually. It's November anyway. Shall we do this? So let me rephrase that. Would There's two people available here right now, right? So it's uh, Tedong as well as uh, Mies, and Mies is probably AFK. Well, well, I will still ask. Would you two be interested in a safe in Malaysia? I don't know. It's it's not like um. For me personally, it's not specific to Islam or Christianity or whatever. Uh, like, I, I probably. Uh, communicated that at this point I'm not very fond of religion in general and that's just a thing for me so um if that's part of a uh, of a of a government um like a I, I don't really like it um to be fair I do not like it in Germany either like um some of our Christian values are rubbish to begin with that makes sense the people that uh, you know, that articulate their Christian values usually don't have them so Whatever. We'll start negotiations here, right? Um, this is low grade. 
it will would give us access to uh, so hopefully um to some sort of um Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Well, um there's there's always the separation between the people and the government or the public image, right? Um it's not like I'm I'm not bashing people of a specific nationality. Yeah. And uh well, I grew up in Stuttgart, so um like I think my social environment didn't really contain a lot of Turks, despite there being a lot of them um, in, in Stuttgart. That's kind of weird. But, um, like, me personally, um, I think uh, different cultures are a great thing. And uh, different perspectives on stuff, in general. Um, so, I don't know. Just wanted to put that out there. Uh, in case there there's a misunderstanding at some point or something, um, I definitely do not tend to right wing policies or political perspective. That makes sense. Then again, how can you in Germany, right? How can you? All right, we'll do the Christmas sweater stuff. So they want to pay us two hundred and ten euros. Well, there's enough people in Germany that can apparently. Too many for my taste. So this is a one and a half year contract, that's not bad. Um, obviously we want to be paid a little bit more money. And top division promotion wage raise, um, I don't know. I guess I want more money too. In case we get relegated, the wage drop is somewhat fine. And this one will go down to 50%. I want some job security. I don't want to live on the street anymore. They would be willing to pay us 240, okay. So we'll keep this, we'll keep this, also this, whatever. That's fine. Do we want to go, Mala to go to Malaysia? Sure. Sure. It's... It cannot be that far away from Indonesia, right? Where the hell is Malaysia? Yeah, that's fine. That's like it, it's it's a neighboring country. Okay. So Nils Ramang is signed by Sarvak United FC. Saravak. Mispronouncing the club from at the at the start. This this will be the perfect press conference. Uh we are predicted to finish eleventh. We have a director of football that we will probably need to keep. We have fierce rivals in Cushing. Finances are insecure. <laughs> well, <laughs> we probably need to collect some money for our own ETF portfolio and uh, financial independence first. So, um, that stadium. A 40k stadium. What the actual fuck? Th this is why the money isn't there. They need to pay for their own stadium. Cool. We have loan obligations. That's not really interesting. Um, I could go through these here. So, he seems to be reasonably fast and also small. Is this an Anisha all over again? Jumping reach 9. No strength whatsoever. Jumping reach 7. Muhammad. Thank you very much. Um, I wasn't aware of that. This guy is a midfielder, attacking midfielder with 14 points of jumping reach and decent crossing. Um, to be honest, this looks like there's barely any tall players. I would need to look into the league. But if this is the way it is, um, we will look for Hoshe Cesar immediately. Oh, a fairly pro player. That's reasonably fast and then that's it. He's an attacking midfielder inside. So this formation doesn't suit the, the players that are in there. Also, no idea what's going on here. Um, goals. Work within the wage budget. Okay, so we will re need to re uh, renegotiate some contracts and get rid of some players and stuff. 
we're growing the club's reputation as I am not aware of what to do other than being successful. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for that. So we will we'll just go in for the Indonesian standard and then we will probably overachieve. And if we can get that done well, we then we will reduce the limits a little bit. I will need to set this up anyway. Um, so we do not want to get relegated. Not getting relegated usually goes with um, we do not want to concede. So I'm familiar with that. And we want to repel the club's financial damage. Damage, all right. The supporters expect us to remain in the Liga M3. Well, to be sure, uh, to be fair, I think Liga M4 doesn't exist in the safe. So, do we want to schedule a press conference? Of course, sure. Okay. Cool. So there's a few players here, all of these are youngsters, what the hell's going on? Yeah. The oldest player in the entire club is 32. He's a defensive winger and apparently an important one. Right footed it says. He's a winger and apparently an important one. Could also play him here or as an inverted winger or something. Not horrible. Balanced personality though. The rest of them seem to be youngsters. Like there's a 27 year old, a 25 year old, another 25 year old, and then uh, going all the way down to the 18 year olds. And this is the poacher. So it seems like we play with a poacher for the start. Is he on loan or is he out on loan? How does this work? He's on loan with us. No, he's out on loan. Until the end of November. Okay, cool. So basically until now. Uh, same with him. So we did loan out two poachers that I am not... Yeah, I will pronounce that every single time now. For sure. Avang Nur Amirul... Takwa Avang Nor Aseman. If not for the bad attributes, I would sell you for the name. Please tell me the other goalkeeper is better. <laughs> His name is Rahman. What's our own again? Ramang. Not far off. His command of area is 2. We need a new goalkeeper immediately. We pay him 160 euros per week. Oh no. Uh, so this is more or less about... That, that squad is not that big. Also, one of the players was considered to be fairly professional. I cannot find him right now. Social groups, there's one social group and they are all balanced. Okay, so. Alright. Supporters expect us to remain in the league. That's not bad. We would need to come up with the old tactics, I think. Have a look at this. So, they played a 4 for 2 last time out. Apparently with really bad tackling. United. Did they always play a 4-4-2? Or are they, are they capable of something else? Apparently not. So I guess the question is, do we go with a 4-4-2? Or do we not? Next match is really important. If we lose that match, we are fucked. So we need to win this. I guess we could start with a 4-4-2 and adapt it um, throughout time a little bit. Not sure. Okay. Um, also, promises are... 
Cool, apparently we promised this twice, for whatever reason. I will do a bathroom break for a second, and then we will need to set this up. So, um, feel free to, I don't know, take, take a walk for a minute. Oh. Get away from the screen. I'll be back in a minute or two. Alrighty, so, you know, you usually have reasonable ideas, um, in the bathroom, <laughs> no, I don't know, um, but this is a leak in progress, so we need to figure out, we, we will not get at the top of the leak anymore, right? This leak barely runs for a year anyway. This will be over in October. And then... Nothing? They are on a break for half a year for, for all I see here. So, I guess we just need to make sure they don't get relegated. Okay. Um, should have looked into that, maybe. On the other hand... This probably implies that there's... Fuck, this is a semi-professional club, I forgot. Okay. Sure. Of course it is. Yeah. It implies that there's time in between the matches. For... Actual training. Also, by the way, um... Match preparation stuff got revamped in FM24, so I need to figure out how to deal with that. Um... But... I think given these circumstances, apparently match focus is always a session. Um, there's trouble here, sorry. Um, but maybe we can actually include some overall training here to develop players. That makes sense. We also need to figure out if there's a reasonable set piece taker and, uh, well, I think I will do some reverse engineering, actually. So we know that they play the 4-4-2. We also know that this is rubbish, because they have a... This is a fairly professional guy. They have a 25-year-old advanced playmaker. Slash Shadow Striker. In fact, his finishing is better than his playmaking attempts. Well, with that anticipation, though. <laughs> Ouch. I can see why he's transfer listed, let me put it like that. So, if we would put this on the drawing board... This guy is okay-ish, but... We don't know about okay-ish, do we? Let's look into the league... No, where is it? Squad comparison, it should be. Squad planner? There it is. Let's have a look at that. So, we are worst in the league in almost everything. That said, league averages are 7 or 8 here. Ever the average of strength is 4. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 7, 8, 9. Aggression is 9, the average. Within the league, as far as we know. The average for kicking is 2.64. I think for a white attribute we'll go with a healthy 7. Maybe a 6. Looking at all of this. Six, nine, and twelve, maybe. There's limits, and now I will need to find a menu. This is always this. This is the worst. It's somewhere. Cool. I 
I've immediately found it. That's not the way it works usually. So we will go with 6, 9, and 12 as limits, I think. Or um, the attribute limits. Cool. Reloading the skin. Yeah, I did that to myself. Okay. Expectation is still to avoid relegation. I think I can confirm that. And now we need a tactical direction. Sure. It says we gotta do that right now. Of course, we gotta train for the match, right? When will that be? For some reason, they sacked their manager after winning that match against Harini Selangor FC. For whatever reason. But we need some tactic. So we'll start with a clean, sl uh, clean slate. Probably a 4 4 2, even though I don't like it. All right. And now we will need to fit basically the senior members of the squad onto the pitch. So that's Chuchu, Romli, Izmavi. Chuchu, Romli, Izmavi. There's two Chuchus. There's one. Probably the one we're talking about. Chuchu. Where's Romli? Here. Seems to be a striker. And is Mavi. Here. Right back, apparently. Yeah, m maybe, maybe. Um, you're right. It might be a thing. So he's not used to playing here. What's he used to play? He played as a central defender so far. And they are not used to this amount of tactical freedom. I, I, I know what you're talking about. Um, I just did not consider that it might have happened uh, to the AI right now. I'm not even sure if it's, uh, if it's like simulated that, uh, to that depth um, for AI uh, managers. But I guess it makes sense. It's not like I don't believe you or anything. Um, and for now I'm trying to figure out... Um, well... It is not that common. Um, but it is a... It is a thing that happens to managers as a, if, if they play football manager, right? As a human manager you encounter that at some point. Um, if you're not... If you're not one of these regular streamers that sets up their database to only, only include really great players and uh, then uh, go to town with, I don't know, Manchester City or something. Um, but uh, don't, not hating on anyone in particular, by the way. Um, I just think you, you want to simulate all of the game world and uh, go, go for the trashy chops too. And then um, have a look how it works. I guess that's just what I like to do. So, is he related to the other one? No, he's not, but he looks reasonably good. Oh, we can just have a look at the lineup from last match, right? This is way easier. So it would be Raman, Ismavi, Kreya. I'll take a screenshot. Give me a second. We'll do some forensics here. There we go. So, Raman, that's this one. Ismavi apparently played as a right back. I'm not sure if that's uh then there's Krayer. Where the hell's Krayer? Central defender. Yeah. But I, I can certainly see where this is coming from, like the sentiment. 
Um, you might be right that this is the way it works. I'm not sure. Um, and given that I cannot simulate being an AI player anyway, um, I don't know. I, I guess the debate is not very useful, um, if that makes sense. They played him. Like, I don't want to argue about it. It doesn't help. Um, Rizal. They didn't play him, did they? No. So, they might have played like this. Then left fullback Ismail. Is there, is there an Ismail somewhere? Oh. Yeah, I can see what's going on here. They do not have a left fullback. Who the hell is Ismail? Where is Ismail? We're looking for Ferris Ismail that apparently played for them in the last match. But I cannot seem to find him right now. That's a that's a great old player, isn't it? Okay, cool. So we do not have a left fullback. Off to a great start. Let me guess, the transfer window is closed right now. So that means... If we want to play a fullback on the left, we'll go with the wing back here. Congratulations, Mr. Romario Riz Rizal. You've just been promoted to a new position. Not sure about the role yet. That said, his crossing is fine and the rest of his attributes is rubbish, with the exception of that. So... Also prone to injury. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, then uh, there's a uh, Mord Rusyad Wahab, apparently. There's one. He apparently played on the right. Uh, Suhardi and Ankun. So Ankun is this one. Not sure about the role. Doesn't matter much right now. Ankun. That doesn't look bad. So he has this weird combination of being really pacey and good passing. Not bad, and Metzala might just fit here. Also, like, advanced playmaker makes some sense too. Uh, can he, he can't do DLP due to the bad balance though. Something like this sounds reasonable though. Get towards penalty area should go back. And then, who was the other one? Uh, Suhardi. Can we find a Suhardi here? The other one is Chuchu on the left. I cannot seem to find a Suhardi. That's because he's in the under-21s and he broke his foot. Cool! So... That settles the affair for him. He will not play, given that he has a broken foot. So let's say this is the next central midfielder, and then we need a deep line forward, and well, we have a lot of strikers, so I guess one of them will be capable, won't he? Uh, not him, though. These are poachers. This is even better. Still poacher territory. Asnan. That's a little bit better from the perspective of strength. Might do as a pressing forward or something. He is out on loan. Uh, 
Same as him. Yeah, um, so all of these strikers, I'm not sure what to do with them. I think the Ram Lee guy is probably the best striker we have. Should be considered to be fast. And we have that attacking midfielder that I'm not sure if I am that... That opposed to using, actually. Is there a role in attacking midfield that does not need mantles? Yeah. But looking at these, well, we, we this might go down as a case of hoofball in the end. Um, because looking at these, we will probably just need to overrun the opposition. And I really hate playing like that, but I guess that's a thing. So, 4 3 3 though would include. What would we do with him? Also, given that this defender is bad at defending from the start. We do not have enough central defenders for a free man defense. He... Like, he belongs out here, that's fine. What's with him? He's a... I don't know... Oh, long shots 13 is not bad, though. Um... I'm trying to come up with a formation that... In Includes a reasonable uh, defensive uh, opportunity, even though I'm playing with two or three strikers. And so, assuming we play two strikers and both of them are somewhat poachery, that means uh, that the rest of them will need to defend, or we need to play some very aggressive, very attacking approach. Which, to be fair, they are reasonably fast. Mm, well, most of them are, with the exception of Krayer. He isn't. If we go a more attacking approach... If we go for a more attacking approach, I think I should probably build this around the team. Hey, yet another member for the fan club. Are you quite sure it's not a self-help group? Welcome to the stream. Yo. Well, what's up? Um, we're doing a new save in Football Manager 24. And apparently it's Malaysia this time. So that's what's up. So far. And now we're trying to figure out what the hell to do with this collection of really interesting personalities. And capability, and their lack of capa capability, I guess, in the squad. So we're uh, trying to figure out a puzzle on the pitch. How are you doing yourself? So his dribbling isn't great anymore. He can still cross a ball, though. So what brought you to the stream? Freshness. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment, I guess. Freshness, she, sa she says. Um, I'm probably damn tired already. No, oh, I've seen worse. Freshness.
Well, this guy's acceleration is fine. His tackling is somewhat fine. We can definitely use him. In, at some point, we can use him on the right wing. We can also use defensive winger on the left wing, but I don't think that's reasonable. He's 32, though. He will decline. Like, there's no way around it. Saw that coming. <laughs> Thank you very much for chiming in and uh, trying to uh, have a conversation first. Yeah. You... Thank you very much. My, my expenses, first and foremost, will go towards electricity and afterwards they will go towards hardware. And uh, afterwards I will reconsider digital art. But first and foremost, I do not have a budget for that, so... Thanks for chiming in, you're welcome to stick around, but I guess you're interested in finding customers. So, what do we do here? Well... Thanks for your understanding. I also, by the way, I respect your um, profession, it's not like I don't uh, want to be an asshole. It's just, um, I don't want to waste your time. I think, so considering we could, no, when, when's the longer build up phase? We do have tr two training sessions, then we play Mal uh, Malaysia University. Well, why, why would we hop on a call right now? I'm in the middle of streaming. And also, as I said, um, Sure, we, you can drop me a message on Discord, whatever, um, if you want to. Yeah, but, um, like, there's a ton of digital artists, always, that comes into uh, my stream. I don't know where this is coming from. Apparently it's from, I guess it's from not having uh, that much of a followership, so uh, I kind of make a good target. Um, but... I didn't buy anything yet, so why would I start with you? And this has nothing to do with the quality of product, there's just no demand. Like, this is not my job, and if it were my job, I would probably do it in another way. Uh, maybe not. That's uh, very nice, but still, you want to get paid. So, I don't know where this conversation is going. Because, uh, well, my money is spent elsewhere. Okay, so we, we would have three weeks afterwards. So, assuming we lose this match in a really rubbish 4 4 2, that wouldn't be so bad. Creative Freedom is, they are not used to this though. So, what are they used to? Definitely not being more expressive. It's mo most likely it's been more disciplined or something. That's it. They are more or less used to playing a 442 with a little bit more of a disciplinary standard, I guess. So. Ram Lee can play. F he can play deep line forward. Sure. I'd rather not. Not it is. Pressing forward doesn't serve him well either. No, he's a poacher. Maybe we can make one of the others um pressing forward, maybe. So assuming we can find a pressing forward here. Now we could play a four for two. There's barely any change otherwise. Can we do counter-attacking? Most likely. Regroup. I should be more or less okay with this. They are not okay with their roles, but we can adapt that. 
say he plays as a no-nonsense fullback? No, definitely not. What's he used to? Definitely not wingback. He's not used to any of these, is he? He played as a central defender, I recall. So, does he have reasonable crossing? Well, uh, comparing to the rest of his technicals, I guess that makes sense, yes. Um... Why not? I think we'll go with fullback on defense here, though. And everything else is a bonus. The goalkeeper... It's... Yeah, you, you can. But um, it, you can't just, uh, just use the link that's uh, used to um, join the Discord. Um, it's somewhere on the, on the Twitch page as well as um, on, the, on the YouTube channel. My button isn't working. There, are, there is not 100 people on the Discord yet. Give me a second. Just copy button, there we go. I will send you a message in case I can find a button here. There we go. This is for the server. Yeah, thank you very much for your interest in my stream, I guess. Um, so, they didn't play him as a poacher, though. How did they play him? They actually played him as an advanced forward, really. Not used to the creative freedom here. And he's in general rehab. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. He's highly susceptible to injury. Great. Does he have all the attributes? He does not have the attributes for an advanced forward, though. His dribbling is free. I will not do that. We just want him to poach, and that's it. So, we'll go with poacher here. There's barely anyone available to play in defense, either. He can do the right midfielder, sure. He's right-footed, he has decent crossing, that makes sense, yes. How is he? Not much worse, well, a little bit worse. <laughs> well, Zoe, thanks for being around. Anyway, even though you're trying to sell stuff, thanks for having the conversation. That's nice. I like that. Uh, so we can use the other one here, right? Let's get rid of Rahab. Yeah, he's he's probably better suited for this. What are the midfielders good at? So, seems like a Metzala might be a playmaker-ish type. Is the other one better at passing? I might. He's a good passer. With good vision. This one much better, not really, is he? We could convert in, in the midterm. So either we convert him to a central midfielder, which would make sense to a degree given his long shots.
Because also ball movement is one though. So I don't know about that. He's a reasonable tackler. Box to box, maybe? Not really. No, I think the, the odd long shot coming from distance is probably the best we can do for him. But we can convert just this entire affair to a 4 3 3 of the other kind, maybe. Um, with two wingers. You know, the, the kind of 4 3 3 that uh, Real Madrid, Madrid was famous for playing for a long time. Um, there's nothing wrong with that formation. There's something wrong with all of these strikers, though. Like, I don't know what we do with 15 strikers. So, for the next match, we go through this with this custom 442. Oh, now they're more familiar with it. Okay, whatever. And we need to find a pressing forward or something. He, he's not particularly aggressive, is he? Umar, well, he's, he's worse as a pressing forward. We will not use him. It seems like they basically promoted all of the youngsters. Ansan. At least the aggression is acceptable. That's it. This is the same as Indonesia last season. We need we need a target forward. Like immediately. That's definitely the thing. Yeah. True. True. And also the shitty ones. Like this this seems like football manager I might have been in charge here. And uh, all of them have, they have all really great potential. We, I just can't play all of them at the same time. Looks like this. Also, there's no, no variety in, in profile. It's all poachers. What the hell do you do with six poachers? Like, obviously, I can go with two poachers in this match. You know what? Fuck that, we will do that. In that one match we will play two poachers. Who cares? He's definitely the better finisher. So, we'll do something like this. Don't tell me that this is bad, I realize. But... What the hell are they you they they are used to playing advanced forwards both or what? They are used to being played as advanced forwards. So I guess that's the thing we are going for. Given that we want to um keep tactical familiarity pretty high for now. And he seems to be played uh as a winger, that's true. And Hussein seems to be comfortable with central midfielder on support. Yeah, well, I I don't know yet. Um, but Ang Kung is not used to this role. How did they play? You know, I could just I could just have a look. To be fair, Ang Kung. Did play in this match. Uh, do we see the lineup somewhere here? Sure. But not the roles, apparently. Yet. We, we can't just look into his profile, though, can't we? <sighs> I'm still in the process of finding my bearings, I guess. 
Here we go. He played as an advanced playmaker for some reason. On support then? Not? They, play, they played him as an advanced playmaker even though he doesn't know how to do that. Sure. What does he know to, how to play then? DLP apparently. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. And apparently he likes Defend Duty even more. Which makes sense. A little bit at least. So I guess we do that. And Mohat is happy. Mohammad is happy with this. Chuchu is also happy with this. So that's the way we go into the first match. And then the rest of them can be on the bench. All of the strikers. We just need to sell some of them off, really. Not sure if it's that one, but we need to sell some of these. All right. Let's have a look at the transfer window, too. So we are at the 25th of June. Transfer window. Transfer window is open right now. Transfer window is between 31st of May, so basically since 25 days, and until the end of August. So we have an additional month and two weeks. One and a half months. To sign players. We can basically do a revamp of the entire squad if we want to. That said, some of these players are probably okay. And we would need to come up with uh, replacements. And we need to come up with a concept first. For example, giving this guy some training and passing, I guess. All right, training. So we need to do a schedule for three training days with a match on Sunday and two training days with a match on Saturday. Yeah, the old we'll create one. This seems reasonable. So given that there we will call this no match, right? If there's no match, we will do two sets of match practice. Uh I didn't look into the training stuff yet. I guess that's a thing. So I need to look this up first, sorry. Um Cool. That settles the affair. Fantastic. We do not have stuff for training. Alright. Uh so I guess we do not have to stick to specific things. On the other hand, we can do outfield training here and maybe some goalkeeping. That should work. And we will do actually set pieces here. Because this should go with the set piece taking training. And well, that's the only thing I picked that I'm remotely tolerable in. So we'll go with this. And we will call it yeah, no match. And then we will change it. The match type in here. Yeah, true, true. Match be in here. So this is if the match is here, there is no match preparation here, I guess. This is rubbish. Should be unavailable. Hmm. We'll just create a new one. If there's a match, we will do match preparation here. We will do 
set pieces here. Probably not penalties, really. We'll do team bonding instead, that makes more sense. And here's a match day. Yeah. That cuts out the other session, as I as I figured it out. Um, so this is match Saturday. By the way, Tidong, uh, feel free to um include, I don't know, questions, recommendations, whatever, right? Um this is what we're here for after all. And, um, given that you're the one to keep me company right now, might as well influence the stream if, in case you want to. So, I will get rid of the penalty taking, I don't think that's needed. They do need a team bonding though. Like, they always do. Yes, they do. Now we need to come up with an additional schedule. That says there's a match on Sunday. Cool. How do I include that? Don't know. I don't think I can. Alright. So, that also leaves us with an opportunity to assign our own stuff, as you just put it. Which means we need an assistant manager. Anyone. Preferably one that doesn't cost money. There's 193 people. Some of them will want money. Alright. We're looking for an assistant manager. Or a coach that is willing to do that job. Doesn't need to be any good. Just needs training attributes. This is absurdly bad. But he's fairly pro. It's really, really bad though. That's, um, in, in a way, that's really nice. Um, I had, let me put it that way, I had the experience the other way around, and, um, well, I, I guess he will watch this later on. Um, so, for example, Jaron Nullet is the other way. Um, he, he likes to um, give comments and stuff, and that's fine too. Um, as long as there's, um, there's this line that isn't crossed, like, if you want the game to be played in a specific way, you gotta play it yourself at some point. So, um, I might not always agree, and I might be wrong about stuff from time to time. More often than not, most likely. So, um, there is, um, in, in case you want to go through the archives, there is a case of somebody that um, thought I had a personal hate on, on him, I guess, um, for not following his instructions. And that wasn't the case for me, but um, I still have that in the back of my head. Because in the end, um, we parted ways two times. Uh, like, it's a weird thing to state that like this um, on, as a streamer. But I think it's better for everyone involved. Like, um, if, if, it, if you get um, emotionally um, riled up for a streamer not following your instructions and ignoring you, from your perspective, you probably shouldn't watch the stream anyway. Um, like, this is considered to be entertaining after all. I... I don't know. Um, I guess... I guess emotions happen on the internet too, and this is fine. Um, so, if it, if it were not to be a repeated uh, occurrence, I would probably not mind much. But at some point... I, I guess at some point you need to draw a line. It's the way somebody phrased it. I'm not sure which one it was. Um, one of the followers phrased it that way. And um, I have a hard time doing that, really. Um, usually I talk to people way too much. As you can see with all of these digital artists. Like, I talk to them way too much. Now, other people just ban them. Mm. I see. And um, I, I guess my playing style um, is a bit different to some people, so that makes some sense. We'll just, we'll just sign him, right? Or we'll go with a coach instead. You know what, let's go with a coach. Who needs an assistant manager anyway? This... Looks reasonable. 
Lighthearted though. I, they really should fix this that I cannot see the personality here. I think so too. And um, I don't want to hate on people that um, that play the game in another way. Um, even though, um, like, I will always state that um, I like to look into club finance and, um, you know, um, I, I always um, try to, with my limited skill set, that is, I always try to come up with um, reasoning for, um, from the perspective of asset management, as far as I'm aware of it. So I always try to copy that on Football Manager, but I'm aware that I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an expert, maybe in topics of computer science sometimes. And really, I'm starting to lose that too, given that I am going into management, more or less. So um, that translates to Football Manager, obviously. Um, I'm aware of how to deal with investments or something. Um, so I'm trying to copy that on, on squad management. I'm aware of um, how to do team management to a degree. And, uh, well, but, but I'm not a human resources guy. I never have been. So that probably doesn't translate to football manager because I don't have that skill set. On the other hand, maybe that's a positive. Who knows? For the game. He's outspoken and confrontational. I don't want him in the squad. Um, but there's people here that could be coaches that are acceptable. And I want some professionalism in this squad. This guy has... He's fairly ambitious there. Uh, let's look at the others. This guy seems to have a few sixes. And also his... Working with youngsters is pretty high. This is 23. That's not fantastic. But... He would be a good coach in tactical attacking. Or as well in tactical defending. So that's not bad. Lighthearted is a bit off for me. Don't like that much. That was Mahamud, right? What about this guy? He's spirited. Spirited is more or less a positive personality. Coaching's worse, though. In particular, the mentals are worse, too. He does not look that impressive on first glance. Don't think so. There were, there were a few professional guys there. Where are they? Mosley. His mentals are better. Gotta give him that. So that make up, makes up for some of the for some of the lack of attributes and uh, and he can still do technical defending. So I would be able to calculate this. No thank. So this is eleven. So that's uh, twenty two plus all of these. 33, 42, that's uh, a rating of 49. That's not horrible. I would need to calculate it for all of the others too, but um, I don't want to. So we need, a we need a technical defending coach. He can do that. And... We cannot pay him. Uh, he can go away. I guess we go with the other one in that case. Or not. Is there anyone that is really bad that we can sign? Like him? His mentals are really bad. Could do tactical possession coaching though, so why not? He wants to earn 95 though. Not sure if I want to pay that. You know what? We'll go with no training whatsoever. We'll have an assistant manager and a coach. And we will 
need to find out if somebody comes over uh, along. Thank you. If somebody comes along. We also need scouting. This feels like a club that can sign uh, stuff for uh, 9 euros. So, definitely want to do that. There's a physio and a doctor. The doctor doesn't get paid, so that's good. The physio earns 95 euros. This contract will definitely run out. Okay. We have all of this. Dynamics is bad. Social groups are... Dynamics is okay. I've seen way worse, actually. Happiness. Not much to say. So, Chuchu, Rumley, and is some we need to play. And we need to teach him how to play on the right wing. So, I guess the most reasonable expectation here is to put him on the right wing immediately. And start to train him there um, for the new formation that we will come up after this first match. And these guys forward two advanced forwards is really weird. But whatever. Can we put a mentality a step back maybe? Can we play a cautious mentality or something? They are really, really not used to this. And a positive neither. No, this is a balanced case. This is what they're used to. We'll play him like this. And obviously we need a left back too. Uh, let's just look into the scouting uh, setup recruitment team. Cool. Um, we need a left back. Anyone. Really, anyone who can play there at all. Menus have been... I, I think the menus are new, by the way. So, that's good. Uh, yeah. Really, whatever. I think we'll go on and invite them all for trial. Get them in for two weeks and see what uh, what's going on here. We also... So, I'm not sure yet, but I think we need a target for what? Or, well, for various interpretations of need. We do have a reasonable striker, actually, but his jumping is absurdly bad. Same as the balance. He is rather fast, though. That said, prone to injury and stuff. Um, I, will, I will look into this later. We do have a spot on the bench. So we might as well bring this guy up for the first team, or to the first team. And put him on the bench. And now let's look at, look, have a look at the stuff here. There is no under-21s manager. There is no coaching team in the under-18s. There is nothing, absolutely nothing. Which is fantastic, because that means we can build it all. If we want to. Is there the youngest players at the age of 16? <laughs> There's 15 year olds. Cool. He's a new gen. Wow. So this is what we will need to deal with. Okay. That said, that bunch of 16-year-olds, where do they come from? We don't even know. For some reason, we have scouting knowledge on them. Cool. I think we will invite some on trial, including the 18-year-olds. Because even though they might not be good enough for the first team, we need some emergency replacements. And I'd rather play... um one of these 18-year-olds. Oh, for fuck's sake, we need to come up with a captain. Oh, by the way, 
contracts. Let's have a look at that too. Holy shit, we pay the money for no skill level whatsoever. What did I do now? Oh. Longs here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Clubs like, well, there's no youth players available here. So thank you very much for that recommendation. The wage budget is pretty big. But... Overall balance is 8k in the red. And this is where I realize... There's no loan. But just 8k in the red, that's all. Well, in that case, that's not that bad. So we just need to get rid of some of the most expen uh, more expensive players, or of, of some of them that uh, those that don't uh, that are not worth the money. Who's the best leader? Apparently, Ahmad is. Making an 18 year old the captain is probably not a good idea, even though he's not that bad from an attribute perspective. Rum Lee being captain doesn't sound that bad. He's susceptible to injury though, so not sure. Also not sure if I want to keep him, to be perfectly honest. I don't want to stretch the possibilities too much. I mean, I, I guess we could make an 18-year-old captain. But considering... Look at the squad again. Look at the ages. Where is it? Here. You, you can probably see it here. We have a bunch of 18 to 23-year-olds. None of these are suitable to be captain, more or less. Like, we could argue that some of the, uh, one of them might be captain. Like, Hong Kong. Who has nine points of leadership at least. And he also plays in midfield. But it's most likely that we will use one of those here, right? There's Choo Choo and Ram Lee. Choo Choo. Uh, just like a train. So. I guess given his age, the Choo Choo train might be appointed as a captain. That would be Ashri Chuchu and Rumley. Ashri Chuchu, where is he? His leadership is 8 though, so I guess we make him vice captain. And where's Rumley? There. So. Who is he? That's the 23 year old central defender now. We will make Choo Choo captain. Ashri Choo Choo. What? What? Ramli's not available anymore? What's going on? What? They're not a great old player. Maybe I confused it. So once I make Asri Choo Choo the captain. No, it it works. I think it's fine. I got it. At least I think so. So 
He has 10 points of leadership, that's not too bad. He's the primary striker in the squad anyway. Um, we will not get rid of him anytime soon, I guess. Um, well, at the end of the season, but that doesn't matter much. He is a leading player. Uh, same as Asri Chuchu. Or Ashri, sorry. Um, Ashri Chuchu is the 32-year-old. That's basically the only person in the squad that can somewhat run. He has some technical awareness and some technical skills. So we want him to play the cross and we want uh, him to hit uh, Nor Aziz Hum Rumley. That makes sense. And the other guy here will just need to suck it up. So now we have a captain and we have a striker. That Well, we have... It's the same person. And we have a vice, uh, vice captain. Um, that would be Ashri Chuchu. And given that I want to play him, I think that makes sense. Probably should have had a look into susceptibility to injury too. But who cares. Now let's go through player roles for a second. Um, so I can probably set this up here. Yeah. Um, we will train all of them as, I guess, poachers for now. Or even advanced forward for this one week. Um, this is a central defender to me, so we will train him like that. Choo Choo will be trained as a wing winger on the right side, yeah. Um, he is not very prone to injury yet. He does have reasonable corner taking, I think. Also, these menus, by the way, this, this is new in FM24, that the menu goes down all the way. This is rubbish. This needs to be fixed. It should pop up the way that I can scroll through all of it or see all of it. Um, he will probably decline in his physical stats. Ed, I think his passing's shit and his vision is bad too. If we want to keep him for a while, we should probably improve that. This is a central midfielder. Looks like Kuhn. Was he the Mitsala kind of guy? No, An Ankun is a DLP without balance. Um so I will go with the blind playmaker for a while. I guess this is decision making and composure for him. The extra focus. Yeah, final sword training. So that means does this guy? Yeah, he's the central midfielder on support for now. Or not. He's really bad at this. Shall we play him instead? That's not much worse. He can't play that. Yeah, it's it's basically both bad. That said, he has a good long shot. So... We can actually tell him to shoot more often, I guess. This passing's not good anyway. So we will put him on central midfielder training for a while. Pullback on defend, winger on support. This is probably yet another advanced forward for now. Vahab is winger on support, Ritzal is pullback on defend. All of a sudden. Rahman is a goalkeeper. And a bad one at that. Umar, yet another advanced forward. Ahmad, we just set that up. He's a goalkeeper. That's probably the primary concern in the squad overall. Um, we need to come up with a reasonable choice for a goalkeeper. Like, immediately. We need to get rid of all of the trash. We 
We will not get one for the next match, and I will not employ him anyway. Um, not for the next match. But for the three weeks afterwards, that's reasonable, I think. And this Asman Chuchu guy, we need, we need to play a formation that uh, contains an attacking midfielder. He's not that great. That's sad. You know, I have a fable for Shadow Strikers. His finishing isn't that bad, and he has the best personality in the entire squad. Sadly. Holy fuck. And Rumley is on Pocha training anyway. Alright. So, might as well have a look for goalkeeper now. On the other hand, we're waiting for trials, right? So let's skip a bit forward. Holy hell, alright. Is there an accept all button, by the way? I don't think there is, right? Just need to do this one by one. Maybe no transfer window. Oh. Too late now. Cool. We'll skip through all of these. Set pieces introduction. So, is there somebody in this club that can... He can't jump for sure. That said, his heading is okay. Sure, why not? Set his introduction. We will... What's the marking of our guys? His marking is great, actually. Uh, is his? So, we will do player marking. I don't think we need to set up players at posts. We will... Some of these players that we have are absolutely incapable of defending, are they? We will try to go counter-attacking, we will do the near post corners. Um, and I think we will defend the transition. And go with an in-swinger if we can. Uh, I did that tutorial in the last save. So, I'm somewhat aware of this. Cool. So, we did that. Um, I will need to adapt this going forward at some point. And also, I should adapt the training schedule. There's a match on Sunday. I, I will try to slap in match Saturday and see what's happening. Or I, I could try to slap in no match. Maybe the works. Like the no match training routine, that is. How long is he out, though? Expected return in one to two days. Okay. Was it was it a long injury? What kind of thing is a pulled hamstring? So he was out for a while. Twelve days. Well, he has seven days. We also should look into rest. This can be double intensity. We will put this on half. Nah, we'll go with normal. They are all set to automatic, so this is great. Alright, let's hold a team meeting.
So I will talk about the aims of the campaign. Oh, for fuck's sake. Apparently, I was not ambitious enough, and now I'm too ambitious. That did not go well. Cool! Well, they would have accepted, uh, accepted probably if I attempted. Uh, no, it's it's not. I don't think we should. In this case, though, they are like the the phrasing um, is probably the problem. Uh, that's probably a problem between my screen and my chair. You know, um, I'm not a native speaker, so it makes sense that I would miscomprehend some of this stuff. On the other hand. This is realistic. I don't speak Indonesian either. Oh no, it's Malaysian in this case. What the hell is the language in Malaysia anyway? Malay. I'm sorry, it's called Malay. I do not speak Malay. And neither do I speak English, according to this. Oh, I speak English. Fluent. Apparently... A guy coming from Sweden speaks English in a fluent manner. That makes sense. Also, I speak Norwegian and Danish. It's just a thing. There's a shit ton of trialists. By the way, this is barely distinguishable. The trialists and, uh, and the real players. Can we put them in a match squad? We can bring a trialist We can bring a trial list to the match squad. Really? Is this a friendly or something? No, this is, this is league match. Do we have a left back here? Preferably one that's reasonably well. This tackling's shit. That's it! Resolute and a consistent performer. I guess we found our left back. He's really bad though. On the other hand, he's 21. Well, let's see. I will, he's way better than ours though. No, he's not. He's worse. Never mind. We'll take him along anyway. Who needs 15 poachers? I wanted to include the training schedules. I didn't. So I will do it right now. We will just put perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. This is what I was looking for. So given that there is no match preparation session anymore. Or is there? Doesn't look like it. And we do not need match tactics training. We can slap this in everywhere. This has a match on Saturday. I miss this. What happens if we do the no match in here? Oh. Nothing good. Okay. Still works. This week has two matches, sadly. For whatever reason.
So it seems like there's a match a week for more or less the entire season. With the exception of that one week that contains two matches. There might be additional matches through throughout the different weeks under the week for the cup. In case the cup competition's still running, but it seems like we were thrown out of the cup. So whatever is going on there, that's done. Doesn't matter to us anymore. Oh. That should be better. Yeah, there's no matches here anyway. Okay. Cool. So, season goes until the end of November, but um, we will do some additional training there and that's it. Um, We should probably talk about mentoring too. So, this guy is the one with the best personality in the squad. He does not have traits. We will take him off the transfer list, I think. Yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. I would do not want to. We'll take him off. And... So I don't think he's a good player. Let me be straightforward with that. That said, he will be stuck to the club for until the end of 24. Is there a particular transfer policy against these kinds of guys? I don't think so. Yeah, that's true. It would be on inferior terms. That's exactly why I'm trying to come up with a new contract. Thank you very much. Okay. We need to set up a mentoring group immediately. We'll put him in. Where is he? There's a 25 year old. No, that's the wrong one. And now we should add two very young players, preferably not trial list. Like this guy that has no traits. And maybe not one of the damn strikers. We have two young wingers, for example. None of these have traits. So that's fine. And hope is that the fairly professional Asman Chuchu is a reasonable influence on these two. But uh, from, from that perspective alone, we would probably need to sign Dickie Vester. All right, let's go. Hmm. That's all right, thank you very much. I don't care. Maybe I should. Um, by the way, competition says... Yeah, it says we need to be competitive, but we got knocked out. So it doesn't matter. We're only looking for the league, and the league says avoid relegation. So we want to avoid relegation. Training units. Not sure if we want to keep the central midfielders in the attacking unit. They should probably go into the defending unit, shouldn't they? But we'll, we'll wait for um, next week. Doesn't make much sense to change this now. They'll do some match training anyway. Once the others, the, the regular followers, uh, whoever that is, probably Cherinolet at this point. Um, once the others uh, see this, they will just go, well, you went from Indonesia to Malaysia, congratulations, you're not that far away. Why didn't you do Gibraltar? <laughs> That'll be the question. Pronounced Gibraltar, isn't it? 
Who knows? Hmm. So any who is fairly loyal, that's not too bad either. We do have attributes on some of these guys. I think we could also we could also do it the other way around. Sometimes there's really great uh, the opposite of talent. The oldest player available is 26, though. On all of the positions, really, the oldest player that we know of is 26. Well, whatever. So let's wait for a scout. And then we'll uh, figure it out. Great. Okay. You have not set any player targets or issued any promises. All right. And I do not want to. Not right now, anyway. At least, well... No, I don't think I want to. We could use an additional central defender, too. This, this club's really bare bones. There's barely anything available. Or anyone. There's, yeah, coaching stuff is me, I realize. Nothing going on here. The poor is just one us to remain in the league. Welcome back. If the, if the remainder of the league is as bad as our team, we should stand a chance at fixing things here. Um, I wanted to look into finance, that was it. So, wagers here say we're spending 4.3k right now. Holy hell. That's a lot of money. Uh, I think I'll use this to to um to do a short break there. Um and afterwards we'll do the press conference BRB. All right. So, how does it feel to be the new manager? Um, it's fantastic. Yes, they are.
Mm -hmm. True, a lot of money. So we do not have a reputation, that's probably due to the fact that we do not have any skill level whatsoever. Hmm. It's on Monday? Okay, cool. I thought it was on Sunday. Who knows? How hard do you expect to work the trails on the players on the training crowd? Well, um, they gotta work hard, I guess. Always. Mm. Well. Yeah, it's about development, because apparently we didn't come here because everything's great. The squad's trash, really. And obviously we want the supporters to um, help us. Long-term potential. Well, first of all, we got to deal with all of the excessive use of the wage budget. Norman Ankung is definitely not the worst player in our squad, that's for sure. Yeah. Do I feel the squad could do with strengthening in any particular position? Probably an additional left back. Oh, we went down last season. That explains a lot. Abdul Kahir. Abdul Aziz apparently is hard to keep on the control. He's a trial list. Here FM, this is not great. Gameplay. Um, but sure. We'll do just that. I do not think I need a scouting introduction right now, given that we do not have. We should probably stop the scouting immediately. We don't have money. Scouting center. Courage, where is it? We are doing 400 per month. So we will not do scouting anymore. Let's get rid of this. 
scouting budget or no scouting budget, I cannot afford to send uh, like to to pay for something that we cannot uh, use right now. And well, um, we need additional players, but we'll need to work with the trials here. Save the money, or just sign him from the other clubs. Really, maybe with our own youth. I don't know yet. We could also use a head of youth development, I guess. From Lee's back for now. He has three points of jumping rage and he has a whole whopping seven. So probably low crosses. We know absolutely nothing about your position yet. Played him in five days on Sunday, not on Monday. Yeah, that was expected. I should have thought of that. You all can go to the training of the under-21s. Thank you very much. That should help a little bit. Here we go. Now it says light to average, that's way better. And the others can play, uh, can train in the under 21s, which is just another way to say we have a separate training session for the trialist. Because the under 21s, they include one injured player, and that's it. This is weird. But I'm not the one to complain. Apparently there's random overall sessions in here. So... I won't do anything. That's good. I'll take it. Oh, there's matches on Sunday here, though. Can we... can we not do... we can do the no-match schedule instead. We'll do that instead. As long as it works, that is. Sure. Individual training isn't great. Yet. So in case you're still around, Hidong, what do you think um, is the biggest difference between your playing style of football manager and mine so far? Given that you brought this topic up earlier. This is slightly green, right? Need to come up with a solution to play this guy. Somehow. So, he's missing mentals, though. 
Central midfield might really not be the worst idea for him. He misses, he's missing the passing too, though. So preferably it would be something that does not rely on passing that much. So no general attacking midfielder stuff. He's basically, this, this does not uh, use his passing that much. It does use his mentals, though, which are bad too. This is a rubbish. Ricardista too. The best thing I can think of is really Shadow Striker and then increase the anticipation. And, well, all this stuff a lot. To be fair, he's prone to increasing that anyway. Um, given that he's a professional, he might get it done. And his acceleration and pace will probably be um, enough to cope with some of the stuff here. With some of the drawbacks. I don't like this, but whatever. And we'll take him off the loan list, I guess. Man, we pay him 180 per week. Is there like a minimum wage here? In the league? Hmm. 70 euros per week minimum wage for full-time foreign players. They just wasted all of the money of the club. That's all there is to it. We just need to offload the entire squad and sign new players on lower wages. Yet another member for the fan club. Are you quite sure it's not a self help group? I guess welcome to the stream. Well, we need to sort these things at some point. Let's get another 23 year old. Can we? He would be open to talking to other clubs. So we'll offer him. I think that was him. Or not. No, this is just. <laughs> it's basically the same kind of striker. They are both out on loan and, well, um. There's no spot within our club for both of them, or for either of them. Lol. Thanks. Didn't expect that to happen anyway. Hopefully one or two of the trial lists are worth the effort. We also still need coaching staff. Well, 
to be fair, there's more important things than uh, streaming. And in particular, there's more important things than watching my stream, so I can certainly understand. Also, Nancy David uh, followed, and uh, apparently this is the hello message. Hi. So, once again, welcome to the stream. Oh, it's all fine. Thank you very much for asking. Hope you're doing well yourself, too. Let me know what brings you around, and please tell me it's not a sales pitch. So... Given the overall composition of our squad, I think it's a fair assessment to argue that um, the Malaysian, the average Malaysian player is probably not that tall. If it's not, if it's not our squad only, we can probably look that up, right? So, seen from that perspective, Maybe it's a good idea if we go with box standard old scenario again. Hire a target forward. Hire two reasonable central defenders. Go for set pieces. Try to remain in the league. And we have a lot of time here on our hands to determine some people. So maybe we can have a look for a target forward immediately. If this reacts at some point. Here we go. There's a whole whopping 117 euros wage budget though. So we need to sell players too. That's just the way it is. Um, so say we're looking for a striker that is tall enough. So we're looking for one specific attribute. Jumping. Maybe 10 points. Wow, that's nice. Um, I... I don't wanna... Um... How do I put this? I'm interested in it, but I do not want you to share information that you're not comfortable um, with on stream. So... Um... In case you're willing uh, to, to pass it along, um, whatever the topic is, um, feel free to, I don't know, chat me up or something. Um, but you, you might as well uh, share it here on stream in case you're comfortable with it. Um, that said, um, it's about her, so um, gotta be extra careful there. Like, maybe she doesn't want you to share it. That makes sense. This guy's jumping reach is reasonable. <laughs> this, uh, this will probably not happen for my job anytime soon. Um, but I, gu I guess you go on strike for a reason, so I don't know. Uh, fingers crossed for a wage increase or something. That's not bad. The 16-year-old with reasonable finishing and no pace whatsoever. But... He basically needs strength, decisions and composure. How's his susceptibility to injury? Well, it came late. Uh, no, it's in the profile. 
So first of all, the the answers are a bit off to whatever I said, I think. So that that kind of fits the picture of uh Twitch displays one viewer right now, and I have this the teeny tiny assumption that um well <laughs> I I do not expect Nancy to actually watch the stream. <laughs> this feels like pre-formatted sales pitch. Um, I see Tidong. Well, in in that case, uh, as I said, fingers crossed. Um, I think everybody should be paid according to their uh, capabilities. Um, and as much as I'm on the on the employer side and football manager, um, it's not like I cannot see um. Like, if somebody puts in the effort and gets the results, I do not see why they shouldn't be paid. And um, if you're employed uh, at university, well, um, hopefully they pay you reasonably well. That said, research in general is not, like, research is not the big money grabber, right? Um, usually you, you earn much more in working in industry. I have some loose contacts there. Um, not an industry, but well, I guess an industry throughout um, former connections. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Um. I I guess I get that. Um. Maybe a more private conversation about this at some point is appropriate. Um. But let's let's just say I have some experience in working with, uh, I guess, uh, with with government in general. Um, not on a very big scale, but um, I'm not that far away from that sometimes in terms of uh, job experience. And well, we are also um, at least in Germany, um, we are in a time frame where um being employed in some sort of um government related agency that makes sense um isn't the worst idea necessarily there's for everyone that gets paid really well and um, finds their fortune in uh in like a regular company there's always somebody that gets exploited and so from that perspective, uh, being uh, paid according to, what is it in English? In German, it, it's called Tarifvertrag. So um, being paid according to one of these, where you get your, your f uh, fixed wage and, uh, you know, um, compensated for inflation and uh, so on and so forth. That's definitely not the worst idea. And that might be in government context, but also... Um, no, it's not. No, it's not. Let me look it up. Give me a second. Oh. Probably a really easy word. It says collective agreement here. Not sure if that's the correct word. But um, it's basically, uh, you have a standard. Um, there is a, I guess agreement doesn't, uh, is not far off. Um, Every body um, that is on a certain level gets paid a certain wage. And once you work for a year, your wage goes up. Once you work for another two years or something, your wage goes up again. Something like this. And um, it's, uh, it's limited at some point. And also, um, on top of that, um, there's negotiations like every two years um, that um, are derived from, well, um, from unions. So... Uh, in in case wages don't go up su sufficiently, um, the union will go on strike, and uh, well, yeah, it's something like this. I d I don't know. Um, there's a lot of different ones um throughout Germany, um, and and it's usually a thing for bigger companies as well as uh, government agencies. Um, that said, the government agencies, whilst having also a lot of different ones, they're not exactly the high paying ones, but um, it's way better than being exploited in industry. And industry is very, in, in a very loose term, as a software developer. Um, so, 
you can be expert level and still be exploited in some sort of startup. Or you can be expert level and uh, still be, I don't know, still not be able to find a job where uh, you can actually do what you're good at. It, it's always um, finding the right place for the right person. And as much as I dislike this, um, I think it also contains a bit of luck. Like, I really would like um, most people to be in an, an appropriate spot, um, not only for their job environment, but also for their job environment. But on the other hand, I can certainly see that um, most people never find that. At least that's, that's my... the experience from my social environment. Um, some people do, and they do really great, but most people don't. So, given that this is a fairly professional player that is rather tall, and he's a 16-year-old, I think I will sign him. I'll just go with Youngster and maybe a youth contract. He's happy with that. No promises required so far. Doesn't even... That's, an, that's a non-contract, is it? That's even better. We do not even have to pay him, I think. Okay, we need to pay him. Yeah, but even if you know the right people, um, like, I know people in big companies that made it there to a degree. That doesn't necessarily mean that they would know what to do with me, because my skill set just does not translate to their job environment, and this is fine. Um, I do not want to blame them for being successful at all. Like, they put in the work and that stuff. But for everyone that I know that put in the work, I know somebody, uh, and was successful, I know somebody that put in the work and uh, didn't go anywhere. So, um, I can certainly see why people are frustrated. But it's, you can also argue that's just a matter of um, not being consequent. Or um, determined? I don't know. Um, you, you need to be able to, to make the change. So that's something that um, I had a hard time learning myself, I guess. Yeah, sure. But, um, you, you know, time frame's limited. So um, you can try your luck for a, a few times, but at some point you're just too old. And um, this point is not... Um, like, this is not in your 50s or 60s. Um, at some point... You're too old to be um, a valuable 25-year-old um, resource that might make it all the way to the top, whatever that means. So um, sometimes it's better to, to just stick to something that's reasonable and um, find other goals in life. Because um, there's no use um, imagining you're a 16-year-old going all the way um, once you turn, I don't know, 35 or something. Um, it's not like... You can't, but people will not see that in you anymore. Whatever you do. That's fine for you, alright. So it's probably barely any money that you want. He wants 15 euros. Alright, we'll do that. Um. So why did I offer for this guy whilst talking uh, worker unions and stuff? Um. Well, I think he's not that far off. From a reasonable target forward. He has seen from a perspective of a target forward. He has no strength whatsoever. The rest of his attributes is tolerable, with the exception of composer and decision making. So what's the deal here? Well, the deal is as follows. We will have him in the in the under 18 team. He can train on decision uh, making and composure. And maybe get some strength. His natural fitness seems fine. Medical report says average. I didn't even look at that. Personality says fairly pro and he's media friendly. So this is not a great personality, but not a bad one either. And hopefully he'll just develop a little bit. And if he goes towards one and a half star, two star territory, we might use him. The other ones here are not that impressive, are they? That said, I guess even jumping region 9 would be fine. There's a lot more of these. That's 329 though, so forget about that. 
Yeah, um, we might also include a foreign player or something. Maybe somebody can come up with something. Don't we have a director of football? Like, where is it? Transfers, director of football. Yes, we have a director of football. Who is not great. But maybe... Can you come up with a goalkeeper, maybe? No? How about a striker? Looking for a target forward. No? He does come up with central defender, at least. A 14-year-old Malaysian, well, in that case. Wanted to sign a 14-year-old anyway. Great. <sighs> in his defense, that's way older than the others. So, uh, m maybe that 14-year-old... Uh, 40. Not 14. 14-year-old would probably be illegal. Um, maybe that 40-year-old is not that bad. Who knows? Or he's a good addition to the squad from a personality perspective. Do I want to play my players in the under-21s? No. I do not want to. So, let's see who that is. He did, yeah. He did. And now he's forced to deal with me. So, it's the right people until he meets his boss. Because, you know, his boss doesn't have a clue at this point, that's for sure. Just look at the skill set. Maybe I made it to two points in some attributes. I don't think so, though. He is a central defender, though, and we need a central defender. Also, his personality for a 40-year-old is shitty. Like... Balanced and this, this is not good. So hopefully he can make up for that in attributes. We'll put him in the under-21s there. They did not want to offer for him. Oh. Well, have a look at that. The individual training performances seem to be reasonable for some players. So why did we want to sell him again? He's listed for loan. Did, did you actually want to see a game today? Because... So there's, some, there's one other thing that really needs to be done. This affair needs to be settled. I don't know yet how we will do it, but all of these people earning 190 euros per week just cannot stand. We need to get rid of half of them at least. In particular, the whole bunch of strikers that does not serve a purpose. Like this guy. Maybe, maybe that's not fair. Well, it probably is. We landed in Malaysia, man. For some reason, the chat's no longer on the screen here. What's going on? Chat box. Properties. Refresh cache. Can somebody chat, please? Apparently it doesn't show anymore. That's weird. Okay. Well, I guess we will... Uh, Hmm. Weird. I guess we will need to deal uh, for the remainder of the session without a chat box. So, um, people that watch this later on will be confused. Oh no. Seems, seems to be the entire chat that um, isn't, isn't up to date in OBS. Whatever. <laughs> Not sure how to fix this. I don't want to relaunch the stream, really. Um, so, we landed in, in Malaysia. Um, and we landed in a rubbish club in Malaysia. Um, sorry, uh, it's it's a great club. Um, this is uh, the Christmas club. So we're doing a Christmas save, apparently. 
given that is it is the 8th of november uh, in germany i think that is fine and now we will uh, go with uh, the christmas sweater here and we'll try to um stay clear of relegation which is not that easy actually um cuz this squad i just want to show you the strikers okay so in case you're wondering, we have this really reasonable striker that is a decent poacher and can do some other stuff. Then we have this other striker that is some sort of a poacher and cannot do much else. He does have reasonable dribbling though. Then we have another striker that cannot dribble for sure, but he's a poacher, more or less. Also, he's rubbish, but he's an 18 year old. Then we have another striker, who seems to be a poacher, but he can't finish for sure. Also, his mantles are really off and I don't know what to do with this guy. Then we have this player, who seems to be a poacher. And last but not least, we have this guy, who, I don't know, could be considered more or less a poacher, I guess. So, I hope that makes sense to you, Mies. This is the squad we inherited, basically in a nutshell. There's like 16 poachers around here in fields. Also, there's two strikers out on loan. Can, it, can you imagine what they are, profile-wise? Oh, now the chat refreshed. Oh, uh, maybe it works now. So, you can probably figure it out at this point. We have eight or nine poachers. Problem is, um, I cannot do a tactical revamp without additional um, players. We cannot afford other players, so um, we will need to find out. Um... Well, there are good players, though. Um, some of them are okay, I think. Um, I do not want to say that we need to do all of it again. Like, we, we can keep some of these players, right? It's not that horrible. Also, Mies dropped out of the stream immediately. So, For the rest, for everyone watching this later on, special greetings to Jared Nullet and Mika Billion, I guess. And whoever watches this later. So, by the way, um, Tidong, if you don't mind me asking, is, like... Does the stream fit your working hours, specifically? Like, what, German time zone, um, 6 p.m.? Is this always your working hours throughout the, throughout the work week? That's kind of well-fitting, I guess. Perfect. Okay. So, um, obviously no promises, but that tells me, um, now I know that there's at least one person that appreciates me streaming, um, sometimes at least, <laughs> for now. <laughs> Let me see if I can come up with a few more. No, really, um, so now I know that, um, if I want to do a stream in the evening, there's, um, thank you very much. Um, but, uh, I, I wasn't, uh, I guess I was. Um, it was not my intent to go fishing for compliments, if that makes sense. Um, no, but um, now I know that um, there might be somebody around um, if I do an additional stream throughout the week. And, uh, well, it, for you it obviously does not serve that much of a purpose at the weekend. So, there's some sense to that. So, that's good to know. That's just all I'm, uh, I was going for. Um, cause usually, um, if I stream throughout the week, there's barely anyone watching anyway. Um, Fridays it works sometimes, a little bit. Um, Mondays sometimes too. Fridays usually better than Monday. Um, but knowing that somebody might also watch this on Wednesday, that makes sense. That's good to know. Okay, we have a match tomorrow. So, we'll do it like this. We'll go through the match, and... If I'm still awake afterwards, um, mentally, so far it's alright, I need water though, um, we will do contract negotiations. 
we will need to get rid of half of this playing squad and try to find other players. And I hate new manager syndrome, but it's it's just a thing. Most of these players, they are absolutely incapable of playing in this squad. That or we go with I don't know. Can we? We can't even play three men at the back. What can we do? We could do something absurd, like um, three poacher strikers, and that's not even enough. A free for all three or something. That would be. A possibility. We repaired the club's financial damage one year ahead of schedule. How? What happened? What? It's the first of July. Let me let me guess. TV money came in. Yeah. Well, we have at least we have three central central defenders. That's basically all we have. Now, what happened? <laughs> Sponsorship money came in. <laughs> That's all there is to it. <laughs> I guess the target still stands, though. I will not go on a spending spree now. Press conference. General atmosphere is negative. Great. Surely a comfortable win is in order here. I have no idea, man. I really I don't have expectations. Fellow relegation candidates Bukit Tamboon. Okay. Our player in Harini, blah blah. What do you think of our chances in that match? I don't know and I don't care. Okay, one can stand in the league uh, stay in the league with twenty five points. So thank you very much for informing me. That's our target for the season. Let's be a bit positive. Can you talk about the challenges of playing against a team like Malaysian University, who are known for their rather direct approach? Uh, well... Always is. I do not have thoughts on that. Great. Nobody cared. Thank you very much for that press conference. Um, we could use um, the new feature um, to offload players. That gives part of the transfer fee to um, a special agent, whatever he's called. An in intermediary, intermediary, I think. So maybe we can get rid of uh, some of these players for part of the transfer fee. If we get any transfer fee at all. Here's the, there's it, here it is. 20k. And now we're going to lose that money. So, 20k for the entire season. And we spend 5k a month on player, sale, uh, player wages. We, we need to get rid of all of these players that earn 300 euros a week or something. And we need to find players that are willing to play for 30. Or even on non-contract. It's probably non-contracts at some point. 
might be that we're absolutely incapable of um, of signing players on uh, real contracts at uh, like at all. Maybe we should try. We'll do that after the match, though. First of all, we go to the match. They played prior to us, I guess. When's the match? In the evening. I'm not sure if I like the change that we cannot do specific match preparation anymore. Um, in training. There seems to be a menu for it, though, these days. So maybe that's better. Alright, training report for Wahab. That's not good. The mentoring unit's general character had a positive effect lately. He's been with that mentoring unit for three days. And, well, to be frank, the effect on training performance wasn't good. Off the ball movement is too. What do you do with a winger with two points of off the ball movement? The 16 year old striker, though, yeah, we will accept him. 15 euros per match, I think we can afford that. Do the under 19s. What was I going on about right now? Um, I'm I'm not sure what you refer to. Oh, match prep, yeah. Um, I think I had that with um with the other save, so I'm aware that there is. Um, there's a menu for it. You can you can focus on um attacking movement, defensive, and uh I, I don't know. Um, balanced, I guess, as well as uh, two set-piece directions, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so you can pick penalties and throw-ins or something. Um, or um, defending and attacking corners or, or something like that. Um, but I'm not sure why it didn't come up here. Um, maybe... Oh, I, I know. It's fairly easy. Um, it needs this session, the match focus session, to be scheduled, I think. So if this match focus session is scheduled, then it comes up. At least that's my... Just guessing now. But I think this should be the thing. And given that we cannot schedule a match focus session uh, most of the time, we need to, to wait for it to be scheduled automatically. So, he's with the under-21s. We will throw him straight to the under-19. Uh, and he will be able to play there, and we train him as a target forward. We could also just split ball on. His vision is one, though. So why make it more complicated than it is? This, this needs to go up by itself at some point. And um, bonus training is obviously for final third. Um, the lack of strength is concerning for a target forward. Now we can just wait. And maybe we'll play him off at, at, at some point. Fizzness test says we can play him. We can also, in possession, I think we can uh, forget about the floated crosses, that's for sure. We'll go with low crosses. In these circumstances. Do we have opposition? We, we know check shit about the opposition. Who do we play? Malaysian University. Cool. We know nothing. Zero. Fantastic.
So you can see that last time out. Can we warn you about this? Yes, we can. This is a way to deal with morale, maybe. So let's go through these for a while. Ahmad was on a 6.9 rating last time. <laughs> the poacher came on. He had 4 out of 5 passes and didn't get into dangerous areas. That's it. No, 80% passing is not great. We'll criticize the lack of chances created, I think. Okay. He thinks he, he plays well. Well, in that case. Central defender on a 6.5 rating. Passing was fine. His tackling was fine too. So we praise his tackling, I think. That's not bad. And I think now we can criticize the defending overall. You need to be more creative than that, I don't think so. Okay. I don't know, it, it feels like they are referring to another game than I do. He had an assist. Passing was really shitty though. Seven point three rating for Chuchu. Look at this. He played four matches, six nine, seven oh, seven point seven, seven point three. And for some reason no no assist yet. Not sure what's going on there. But I'm kind of happy having him on the pitch. As a winger, obviously he's he's misplaced on the left wing. So he'll be on the right at some point. Alright. Let's go to the match. So We are up against it here. Um, the the former. Um, that said, um, well, you you probably guessed at this point, and I I think I went on about it for a while now. Um, like you cannot really grow up in a place like that and not be um at least somewhat um of a supporter um of a club if you're interested in football at all on the other hand um i'd still argue i'm more interested in um good management or um i don't know um like i'm not the guy to run around waving a flag that makes sense in none of the circumstances usually Probably a wide one. No. <laughs> um I I guess um I guess I like to watch the Stuttgart games. But um for example the last match uh, Stuttgart played against Heidenheim. And um Stuttgart didn't didn't take their chances. That's just the reality of it. So we'll give him 31. Um so in the end they lost this match. And there's re re there's replays I I think by uh, the zone or something on on YouTube, um, like a five five minute uh, comprehensive uh, video about it. So watching this tells you everything about the match that you need to know. Just um, it took ninety minutes. It was a really exciting game, but in the end, um, Heidenheim scored I think after a set piece, and then uh, they scored um, in minute ninety something a second goal um, from like fifty meters. Once the goalkeeper was out of his uh, out of the box, so um, oh, his penalty area, whatever, he was way out of goal because uh, well, game was over anyway, more or less. So uh, Stuttgart conceded a second. Heidenheim did really well. Got to give him that. Also, there was a lot of woodwork um, involved in this match, on both sides. So in the end, it was deserved. Stuttgart lost that match. I wasn't devastated. I was kind of proud of Heidenheim, if that makes sense. Because they did well. And, well, everybody loves an underdog, right? So, yeah. That's usually my perspective on football. Um, there's clubs that I have an easier time and a harder time to, um, to tolerate that. 
for example, the match between Dortmund and Bayern uh, recently, I just can't be excited for Bayern Munich, really. Um, even if they devastate their opponent. It's, there, there's exceptions. If it's Manchester City that gets under the wheels, that's probably a good thing for me. But, you know, may, maybe I'm just pretty boring because I love underdogs. On the other hand, Bayern Munich will probably never be a real underdog. All right. Trying to encourage them didn't work that well. This is an away game for us, so we might as well... I don't know, nobody seems nervous though. These two seem nervous. So given that they are nervous, maybe we want to ease the pressure on the rest too. Look at that! Well, how did I figure that out? I got lucky. Okay. Do you support any club in particular? This seems like pork. So they are minus 17 right now. Oh. Let me change that immediately to sideline. Because I want to see the pitch. Okay, so it looks like this is a little bit foggy over here and that's it. Which are ours? The red ones? Yeah, the red ones. Christmas sweater is ours, right? Doesn't show in the pitch, though. There do not seem to be spectators. Wow. Not bad. We'll try to encourage them. Is there anyone in the stadium at all? Abdul Rahman takes a long kick. Ooh. That's questionable defending. I think we should probably roll it out. Come to think of it. It's basically a test match for me. Even though it's about real points. Yeah, his distribution is horrible. And there we concede. Fucking hell. It's an own goal by Krayer, okay. Can't nobody in a stadium, that's really anticlimactic. I <laughs> I stand with you for St. Pauli at least. No. Was on extended highlights too. There you go, Rumley. Just run with it or don't. Choo choo, Rumley. That's not bad. Is it? For Choo choo, and that's a great chance. Sadly, not one taken. So it seems like nobody comes to watch these matches in Malaysia. Where the hell is Livorno? Let me look that up. Obviously in Italy, but... I'm not aware of a football club there, man. It... it doesn't tell me much. This goalkeeper is horrible. We go down without a trace. For the first match. Holy shit.
given that they they seem to score stra straight for the middle, right? Yeah, look at that. There's giant gaps in the middle of the pitch. <laughs> Goalkeeper's reaction to this. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, I stand with the assessment. We need to figure out a way to improve this squad. Come on, Mohammed. Run with it. That's not running with it. Is some V. There was an attempt. Ahmad. Is some V again. Now he's out on the wing. Wow. That was dangerous. We get a corner. Guess that's something. Is Rizal a decent, a, reason, uh, a reasonable corner taker? Oh wow, three points of corner taking. Hit the outside of the post. That was way better than anticipated. That's it. Um. Plain it clear. <laughs> this doesn't work so far. Third goal. Can we shut this shit down? At least. Like... Play defensive. Play it narrow. Slightly lower, waste some time. Do a low block. I guess we get stu stuck in and then we press a little bit more. Something like this. Obviously they're not used to it, but well, this doesn't work anyway. That's better. Let me guess, he gets a yellow. He doesn't. Cool. We conceded three goals by four shots. Did, did we pick the worst goalkeeper of them all? That hit the wall. I'm gonna start to be rating now. Okay. They like it. Harry with a floated long corner. Uh, not long. Outswinging one there. Match engine isn't bad. Ritzal barely knows how to run with the ball. And apparently Hansan was too small. Uh, too, too, uh, slow. So, uh, Tedong, I guess you need to teach me about Italian football at some point. Given your familiarity. Oh, that's not bad. Can we turn this thing around? Probably not. There goes the choo-choo train. Not a bad cross. Was a high one, though. Not having spectators in the, in the stadium is really anticlimactic. Ritzel. Hmm. Second attempt to charm, maybe? No, it's fine, man. Fine. Thank you very much. That's cool. 
I like that. Well, I don't, I don't like them to to be in the uh, like that. They are down there, but um, maybe they'll back uh, get back up. Fucking hell! We conceded a fourth goal. Can they defend anything? Over the left again, and on the left is where uh, we don't have a, a reasonable fullback. So, that's what's going on here. I guess Ritzel. That's alright or not. Uh, who, who hurt themselves? One of ours? Not one of ours. Well, that's the first time that I see a reasonable defensive performance from one of the players. Freya with another long ball for Ramli. Problem is we don't know anything about these players. I guess we know their sizes. Not sizes. How tall they are. This is really horrible though. For everyone involved. So, um, I guess we will go back to playing football for people that don't know how to play football. Like, really compressed football. Defend in the middle of the pitch. Low block, not doing anything in particular. I expected that one to go in, actually. <laughs> oh man, this is horrible. Not the way I would have wanted to start. I just wanted them to get, uh, to have a chance to show me what they can do. I was wrong about that, apparently. Chuchu's long ball is not bad. Osnan. There we go. First goal. Under my management. By Mr. Hasnan, whatever his first name is. Yeah, great. It's Atskaridi Farhan bin Hasnan. Not that hard. <laughs> Um, I think offside trap is on it um, by default. It's not not a not a thing anymore, is it? Well, we could step up more, um, if that makes sense. So stepping up more, I guess, has to do with. I'm not sure there. It feels like this should not specifically um, be something that um, relates to good positioning or, or... Good positioning is viable in both situations, right? Uh, stepping up more, though, uh, might work better in case they have good aggression and stuff. Whilst uh, dropping back is probably better if they have good physical attributes and uh, are capable of challenging the ball. Not bad. Or challenging the one carrying the ball, whatever. Um. But this is two things at the same time, I think. First of all, the tactic doesn't work, really. And second of all, it's a really bad performance by the left back. <laughs> Which reminds me, I think we have a trialist on the bench. I think I will sub him off now. It's it's what well, it was another own goal. It 
So Krayer scored the second own goal of the match. And to be fair, it's the result's fault. All of it. We'll take him off after 45 minutes. Five point eight rating now. The good news is I do not have another central defender on the bench. Because we don't own anyone. Well, oh we do not own people. There is no other central defender under contract. So maybe we'll give him another five minutes on the pitch. This is... Everybody's inspired. At least they get the feedback they expected. And we are going down for the last place. Goalkeeper claims the ball. Everybody cheer, this is really exciting. It's not the way that I imagined uh, the start in FM24, but on the other hand... I guess if we get fired immediately, that would make for a fun start into a save too. <laughs> You can certainly see the quality in the in the passing of Choo Choo in general. Um, I just think he needs to to play on the other wing, and we'll play him as a winger out there, um, maybe on support duty. Not sure yet. Um, how's his anticipation, by the way? Where's Choo Choo here? His anticipation is bad. Off the ball movement's really good. So winger on support might make some sense. And Krayo is going for a third own goal. It seems didn't hit the target this time though. There's a second cross and the goalkeeper claims the ball. Nice. Well, Niels will have a second job at some point. Come on, shoot! Two goals! The level of play down here is really great. The goalkeeper didn't have the intention to go back into his uh, his goal. Look at this. So he had like half a year of time to get back into his his box. Didn't do it. Didn't care. He just remained out there and watched as somebody scored. <laughs> if this is the level of play down here, we just need some tactical awareness. And for some reason, Abdul Rahman took a long kick. To be fair, um, our the better one of our two strikers did win the duel against the central defender. So it seems like it, it Ramli could be a reasonable choice. Um, <laughs> yeah, most likely. No, um, but I think Ramli is physically interesting. As somebody that can do something like a target forward. Also, this this was well played in general. So, assuming... Let's just do this. It's not like we have anything to lose. 
Assuming we use him as a target forward on support duty, he should drop back a little bit. And... Who got the yellow card? Is is Vamvi. Oh, that's one of ours. Right back. Okay. So we can also bring this guy on. It's not like Rizal is doing anything in particular. That is worth keeping him on the pitch. And we might as well use Vahab as a right back, given that the other one is on a yellow. Yeah, why not? Let's take him off. And let's bring on this guy. Is he a playmaker-ish type? No, he will be. Alright. So... Oh, we have five substitutes. Great! We will just bring on five other strikers after that. That or we sub off the goalkeeper. I don't think so. Apparently Mr... Yeah, that... The resolute one wants to make an impact. The one that is without a contract. The fact alone that we can play a trial list in this match. Well, that's not bad by Rumley. So I'm, I'm not saying we will make a comeback, but we might go for a comeback. Why not? Let's go attacking and see what's going on. Ah, oh, it's claimed by the keeper. Choo choo with an interesting attempt at a free kick. Whew. That deflected. Keeper had his uh, fingertips on it though. Choo choo will take another corner. This time with the right foot. For the near post. That's not well defended, is it? I know where this is going. We'll go attacking anyway. It doesn't go anywhere. Not bad. And Ahmad gets a yellow card too. Just for being stuck in all the time, I guess. Shoots a wins the header. Hussein Rumley didn't go for it this time. Asmi. Harry. Come on, man. Like, this would have been a goalkeeper's ball. Apparently he decided to stay. On the line, though. Well defended, Krayer. I'm surprised. Abdullah wins the header. And that's another corner. Well, we'll continue berating them, right? Given the result. Okay. Conceding five goals. I guess Kreia could have put that in the other direction. There was nobody there. Decided to go for yet another corner though. <laughs> That's a thing now, isn't it? <laughs> Kreia's like, okay, as long as we give away other corners, we do not concede. I can jump for the ball just fine. I just do need uh, to avoid hitting the own goal again. Let's not make it a hat trick. Please. Long ball towards Hasnan. Skips past the defender. I cannot believe it. It's three goals. Five to three. <laughs> if, if this is the way this league goes usually. I don't know what to say. <laughs> the goalkeeper gets an assist. Can you believe it? <laughs> this, is, this is really absurdly bad. We gotta find out, find out how, to, um, how to avoid conceding all the time. Because apparently we can score. Three goals at that.
No, 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 no. Don't let him get to the ball. He gets to the ball. Finds a reasonable pass. Intercepted by Mohamed, though. Asnan controls the ball well. Avang Ahmad. Come on. Krayer. That's the trial list. Reasonable pass towards Ram Lee, who is our best player. Asnan again. Asnan. Oh, come on. At least take the shot if you don't lob it over the keeper. It was a reasonable play, though. So. We have two players that are focused. And Muhammad is really tired. Or is one of you right footed and can do. Like, none of you can play across, can you? For sure you can't. Can one of you dribble? Dribbling free. Dribbling 5. I guess dribbling 5 it is. You go here. And we will bra bring on the other Ahmad. Ahmad. Or we have Avang Ahmad as well as Ahmad. Sure. We will bring him on. Him on strictly as a poacher. Maybe they can turn this thing around. It's only 2 goals in 15 minutes. So. Whatever. Obviously, we will go with additional B rating here. Rumley, no killer ball coming up this time. Harry, ask me. <laughs> Did you see that one? What the hell? Uh, okay. So much for going on the attack. Yeah, there also goes a chance for him to ever make it back to the squad. He, he'll be one of the first ones to leave, I think. And to be fair, Kraya's defending. Like, the trend is positive so far. His name is also Kero. Uh, Ker Carrier. Whatever. Eight goals in the first match. Didn't expect that for sure. I thought to myself, well, okay, this will be really boring and blah blah. It, it's not boring, it's horrible. He's overwhelmed by the feedback. Why would you be? He came on as a sub and <laughs> he was motivated to make a difference. <laughs> it says, well, nice defending, Choo Choo. Come on. This is a counter-attacking opportunity. Do it. Or don't. Oh, it goes towards Wahab. Simon, Wahab again. There goes the opportunity. That's done. Choo Choo with a free kick. That's a penalty, isn't it? It is. Three minutes to go and we get a penalty. <laughs> we will be one goal short of a point in the end, <laughs> you'll see. Put it in, man. Whoever you are, it's Rumbly. Fuck being one man down. We go for very attacking and hope for the best. And obviously, I need to change the instructions here. Now we go for high, blo uh, high press and, uh, well, uh, I guess a much higher defensive line. Also time waste goes off. And we increase the tempo. I don't know about the passing. Probably more direct is fine. Work the ball into the box. Play for another set piece. And straight through the middle, because, well, just because we can. Not sure why this works. 
will encourage the team. Come on, guys. One more goal. Hell, the goalkeeper made it bad from, back from the red territory. Nice one, Choo Choo. I also really like the fact that um, <laughs> two of our players actually are named Choo Choo. And one is, uh, well, in, at least in German, Choo Choo is basically um, not the way it is spelled here. But that's like the childish sound of um, of a train. So, <laughs> I don't know. He's a winger. The expected goals we had is way better. Give away another yellow card. It's six minutes of stoppage time. The goalkeeper actually saved this shot. So that's a plus for his performance. Drops the ball to his feet. We try to find Avang Amat. Not good. Refill. Azmi. There's another cross that's saved by the keeper this time. Abdullah, not to be confused with our for former player, I guess. In the other save, that is. Thirty seconds to go. None of us intercepts. Well, I guess that's it. Come on, close them down. We don't. And that's probably offside. It isn't. It is. Doesn't matter. Game's over. So... <laughs> this is like a really great start. I'm highly confused. So, nine goals in the first match and we lose. Including a player that got sent off. Begs the question, would we have been able to score an equalizer with 11 men on the pitch? Not sure. That's well intercepted. Game's still going. Game's not going anymore. Come on. Match should be long over. So... Yet another attempt. There it is. Now it's over. So... We lose. We did have some sort of a comeback, though. I'm not delighted with the performance. But... To be fair, looking at the numbers, like expected goals was way better for us, for some reason. We just need a left back, first and foremost. I think that's a primary concern right now. Yeah, it was very entertaining, thank you very much. Oh, was this a rival on top of that? We do need a code of conduct.
We'll find him half a week's wages, I think. Yeah, he had a great game. Gotta give him that. Two goals. Passing was alright. Two shots, two goals. We will definitely praise that immediately. Okay. To the press conference too. Do I have any post-match thoughts? Yeah, well. I don't think they backfired. Uh, well, to be honest, I think pretty low grade, con given that there were nine goals conceded. Yeah. That it was, man. That it was. Uh. I think we'll go with we should do better defensively. That's the way it is. Can I explain the decision to leave him on? There's no additional central defender on the bench. <laughs> it was his first goal today, okay. Just how far do I think he can go? He is he the one with the long shots? Yes, he is. Lol. So he actually got player of the match, despite losing. Can we just have confirmation that uh, the 16-year-old youngster signing isn't for the first team? Um, so we'll go with that. There are rumors that uh, we are still in the market. Uh, yeah. We will do that. Well... He did better as a trialist than our current left back option, so I guess that's a plus. No man, I will I will definitely change my tactical approach. Yeah, m well, depending if he stays at the club at all. I do have concerns about it though, so I lied. Um, What was your reaction on 
Hazamir Hazar being sacked by Saints, I don't know. Let's defend our own player for now. Okay. So, um, two players suspended. 20 days to go. And, well, over here, it's... Uh, quarter past 11 p.m. So, um, given that I need to work tomorrow, I think I will wrap up the stream right now. Um, I want to do all of the transfer business and basically getting rid of half of the squad, but this will be an extensive process. So um, that's too long, and I guess it's the best. Uh, it's best if I do that next time. So um, yeah, Tidong, thank you very much for watching, and also to everyone else uh, watching this later on, thank you very much for watching too. Um, that said. Um, Well, in that case, you should probably do some of your work, right? Apparently, this is what you get paid for. <laughs> no, thank you very much for watching. And uh, hopefully... Um, hopefully, we will not see nine goals next time out. At least not nine goals with that distribution. Um, Thanks for watching, and, uh, well, have a good day, and a successful day, I guess. Don't watch another streamer now. Do some work, right? Yeah, I see, I see. But in that case, um, I I'm a bad influence, so now I want to be a good influence. Come on, you can do it. Earn some money. You'll get it done. Whatever. Um, I will see you on Friday latest. Um, I'm not sure if I have the time tomorrow. Might. Um, don't want to promise anything. See you soon. And uh, have a good time, man. Bye.